Yes. I won't get to you, needy. Jesus Christ. What, what are you thing? doing? What? We'll get to you. I saw you standing there. We're high like that. It's high. We're doing a show. So am I to, don't, don't act like all of a sudden you're doing uh, Sam. What? Did you see what I saw? Yeah. All yeah, right. I thank see. you. Well, Obviously, was, we're in the middle I of something. Stretching. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I was My stretching. Back. A minute ago, he was saying hi. I was saying hi. As <laughs> I was were you stretching. saying hi or stretching? What was it? Look at my sciatica. I'm in so much fucking pain. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Oh but I didn't mean God. to interrupt. I knew I knew you would get to me. I thought you looked like, what are you doing out there? Come on in. That's what I thought it looked like. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to interrupt everything. His body language said, hello, I'm here. Oh, oh now you're a body language reader. I just said. Sam. Oh, what? Okay, maybe I don't want to get Anthony. off on the wrong note. On the wrong. No, it, it's all good. No, I don't you, care in the end. But uh, you actually uh, called it yesterday. <laughs> what? Yeah. what did he say? He talked about me. Said, no, no matter what you. time you tell Rich to show up, he'll show up early and then stand in front of the glass and, and stare start, in and stare at it and stretch until and... we call him in. <laughs> no, here's it was explain. exactly what it just happened. <laughs> Thank no, you. What happened? And I don't care. Trust me, I don't okay, care. I you guys, I, I'm, listen, you don't. You're care. not going to win this one. No, I know, but you don't care about anything. So that's why I know you don't care about this. Uh, that's right. We don't care, and it shows. <laughs> but I, I try to be traffic. That's why I get here. I get the whole thing. You get it? Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm listening. No, I sit know. down. It doesn't matter that much. I'm just saying. Yeah, now take a seat. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, what are you looking at? Real tattoos? He's just showing off his <sighs> tattoo. That's why I did the oh. whole, like... Wait, you got another tattoo? Well, I had this one. No, that was from the show, yeah, right? I just did it over. And again, they did it over? Not them. My, my new guy in Wait, Flemington. the tattoo... Wait, all right. You went on worst tattoo, or whatever the fuck the yeah. show was that they're showing over and over again. Yeah, and but this guy brought then, it to another level. Yeah, I know, but I thought we saw that one already. Yeah, but it just it didn't come out the way I liked it. So the, he touched it up again yesterday, and then he did. Okay, uh, and then he got a new one. What's wrong with you? Immortal Ink in Flemington. And what he? This is a pinup girl with a golf club. You know that's pretty fucking hot. Oh my god! Immortal Ink in Flemington. The guy fucking Look at Josh it. It is went, a magic yeah. guy. What you don't I like? Just I, I, I don't. No, I believe me. My brother's got fucking shitload of tats too. I'm just not a tat guy. Did you notice that when you were showering with him when you were a kid? Uh, <laughs> no, Rich. He didn't have him at that uh, young age. Well, you didn't have him then. Uh, that's a big piece, though. What this one? Man, you guys that get the big pieces, you're fucking brave. I can't even imagine putting a big tattoo on my body. And it's inside of the floor. This one came out really good. Both of them, this guy fucking is like a magic Yeah, but why is it look like that tattoo is slipping down your shoulder? Shouldn't it have been higher? I'm going to do more higher. Right? Yeah, no, it's going to go up higher. It's going to go up. Hold, oh, boy. What's that? That's Joe DeRose's. Uh, That's Joe DeRose. Uh, the now, did one? He have, what did he have done to that? that was Wait, you weren't here. No, oh, dude, we killed oh. him for an hour. He hold has, on, there's oh. too much going on. Hold on, I got. Oh, <laughs> oh right, God, on. I'm sorry. Is Tracy gone? All right, she's gone. Oh. Right. We're talking about the Rolling Stone cover as well. We'll get back to that. Oh, yeah. You weren't, dude. He got fucking beat up. Oh, oh we killed we kill him at the cello. That's... But it, it's the famous George Carlin quote that yeah. basically Carlin said to everybody. Even what? E-Rock has a signed picture where uh, George Carlin wrote the same thing. No that, way. Oh, yeah. you missed it all. Is it going to oh. be on the countdown this oh, weekend? I'm going to have to listen to the countdown. Well, you say kick them. Keep, keep kicking, kicking them, them in, in the nuts. The nuts. See, I and Joe thought it was like, oh my God, he's he's talking to me personally, so I have to put. <laughs> you know all this. I know that. Okay. But then the other thing. Hold on. And written, then uh, and then what made it hilarious? E Rock. E Rock had it. He texted me a picture that he had George Carlin sign, and it's a George Carlin headshot, and he wrote, "Kick him in the nuts." The only oh part my. he didn't say was keep kicking right, him right, in the nuts. Right. He just wrote kick him in the nuts, and George Carlin. The other thing was we had always thought that like Carlin had said that to him face to face. Uh huh. Yeah. Joe called into, into a podcast. His, his friend's college radio show that George Carlin was on, and Carlin told him keep kicking him in the nuts over, over the, the phone, phone <laughs> on the radio. Of the radio the show. Thing. I wish Carlin would have said to him. Uh, Kill yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the tattoo would be KY. So it gets better. So, uh, Jordan Rosen, for the people that don't know, keep kicking them in the nuts. So he abbreviated. So his tattoo was KKTITN. And then what drives Jim Norton crazy? The period at the end. Well, he actually tattooed a period on. So Joe says that he he did this horrendous cover up job, as we're all 
looking at now. It's on Not Sam's, uh, what, your Instagram? Instagram or Twitter, Why yeah. did he do that? Because he just had the initials before this box <laughs> is around him. He it. says... That fucking box that he, looks horrible. He says that when he was walking around, he would get some looks from black guys, and they were. Th he was thinking that the black guys might think it's a KKK tattoo. Because well, it's 1K away from KKK, obviously. Well, so, so she, that freaked him training. out. Huh? Yeah, but what are all the other letters? Aren't the black guys going to put he, that together? <laughs> no, but he thought that it looked too much right like it in a... Right cursive. Like apparently, a, like KKK. to being read it. Like a white supremacist type tattoo. So he went in and got that ridiculous that, cover up. That's not a box, though, Voss. What do you think that yeah, is? Yeah, I see something... Oh, hold on. Looks, before we go into that stage uh, of what we talked about, then this hot piece of ass comes in, some Latino broad oh, that right. does like a sports blog for an L.A. station, but obviously she's here interviewing or something. She, we saw her walking, so we bring her in while we're talking about the bad tattoo. So we go, all right, no one say anything. We asked this hot broad, what does the tattoo look like? She goes, kitty. <laughs> Which we've all said. Yes. We've all said, why kitty. would you have kitten fucking tattooed on your arm? Because if you look at it quickly, it looks like kitten. She goes, it looks like kitty. Oh, it was a huge oh laugh. Oh, my God. So anyway, he does that cover-up. What is it supposed to be, Rich Voss? That looks like a cigarette. That's Everyone says said. it looks like a cigarette. I... I mean, it looks. Do you like, know what it is? Did you? I'm gonna. No, I don't know, but okay, I'm gonna so assume I know what it is. Really? I, I think I do. Are you? What's that? Just because I kind of know what he was probably going for, being a comic. A lot okay. of people online are saying electric razor. Yeah, yeah. Why does that? I'm well, gonna say microphone. No, it doesn't even. Are you kidding me? It doesn't look what like what kind one, of microphone? A just, microphone just, flashlight? It just for the fact that there's the windscreen thing. But is it was it supposed to be a microphone? I, I, it was. Then he yeah. would have a cord coming. Dude, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's no, that's it not is a, a microphone. It is a microphone. It is a microphone. What clubs does he work? <laughs> that's the worst fucking microphone. That My kid has a better terrible. microphone. But this he tech, needs that taken. Care. He needs to go to somebody that can completely cover that. And just fucking get rid of it. And he okay. showed, on the after show, after you left, he showed a photo of what the artist had originally intended to do, which was take the initials and just add some, like, yellow designs and yeah. stuff under it, and it actually looked good. And Joe said, no, 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 that's too much, that's too much. This was Joe's idea. Okay, if he went, listen, I'm not plugging this guy at Immortal Inc., this guy Josh. But if you even if you don't like tattoos, no, this is a good fucking piece. I see that it's a good piece. I would never have that on my arm. No. Okay, now what and does this, Bobby think of your big tattoo? She hate, well, of course she, she hates loves it. this new one. How did he she fix it, it up? Because yeah, when the girl did the other one, that just kind of looked like a big blob. But now it's, no, it looks good. Now it looks well, as far as tattoos go. You're you got some good pieces. But the thing she doesn't like about this this is a pinup girl with a golf club for people that doesn't, don't know. Is it an actual pinup girl? Yeah, you know, you just like a pinup girl, like you know the style from old right, school. Right, right. Which I like old school stuff. And she said, Well, why would you put a girl on your arm? I'm going, Well, she's really a fictitious girl. If you had, like, you know, a sailor that wasn't a real sailor, I don't think I'd give a fuck. And she goes, You know, well, you know, you're married. Why would you put another girl on your arm? Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is, so, you know, when I'm fucking her, I could look at this girl to stay oh, hard. Jesus no, <laughs> no but it's, it's not. It's nothing. It's just like a girls get bothered by that. Mine when a guy gets a, a girl tattoo. Yeah. I, I never knew the, that. The other arm, I had the other girl swing in the club. Right, a nice one. I could see if the girl uh, tattoo was uh, maybe a portrait. Your wife or girlfriend would be like, "What the fuck?" But it's like it's cartoony. It's up. Yeah, it's a pinup girl. Like, yeah, I, look, look. The style's cartoony love, though. I would love to talk. To Rich about his tats, what happened? But I can't get over this fucking. <laughs> I talk. He Joe thinks DeRose. it's great. I'm looking at yeah. the picture. W was there a period after every letter? No, just after oh. N. Wait, you've seen this tattoo? That, I know. I can't remember though. Oh, okay. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Why a period? He after wanted just. He wanted to so, because the period after the N goes to say keep kicking them in the nuts is a sentence. Yeah. So then the period. He thought that adding this box that he calls a microphone around it would soften it. So people wouldn't think he's racist anymore. <laughs> well, I, you know, here's if, the thing. if I didn't know any better, I would think he's in a black uh, fraternity. Because those those yeah. guys brand yeah, it branding. looks like a brand. Well, I think I'm kind of glad that Carrot Top's not his favorite act because then he'd have all these little props all over his arm, like right. teddy bears and shit. Uh, okay, so they're not all great. But, uh, <laughs> uh, what I'm saying, you know, and I'm not going to trick because he likes my tattoo. I'm I'm a big fan of Joe, but he's out of his fucking mind. I love Joe. He's Let hilarious. Let me tell you what he did with you. Yeah. 
you had a party or a barbecue oh, around yeah. 4th of July. Yeah. He And I wanted to call you so bad. I forgot to do this. He calls me yeah. and says, look, uh, you know, I'm going to Ann's house and I'm going to bring a friend. What do you think? Do you think Ann would care? I go, Ant wouldn't fucking care if you brought if you brought a militia group. True. Okay? I'd, Is, I'd, you know, I'd like I mean, not militia. one guy. You're not going to care. No, no. Okay, and he was like, out of, I go, look, just bring a fucking bottle or some food and whatever. Ah, you know, it's like a party. Just bring some. But I wanted to call you, and I forgot to do it, like, f when Joe got there, like a half an hour later for you to pull him to the side and oh, say, look, you're going to have to get you this know. guy out of here. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been good. And I forgot. He would have freaked out. <laughs> yeah, Joe would have freaked out at that. He's one of my favorite people, but, you know, that, that whole tattoo... Can be covered perfectly. It's got to be covered. They, it's got to be covered. Be covered I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm yeah. not. I'm not getting on Joe about you know people you know make mistakes uh, in life. Holy shit, it's horrible. He He's fucked got up real bad. That does does he have regret? Well, he was thought he it was selling awesome. it. Was he sitting no, here going, no, dude, I, check it out? It's I think awesome. he's going crazy. No, <laughs> it, he has a new tattoo that's uh, 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 equally as bad. What Team Zimmerman? We think it's a Ghostbuster thing. Oh, he had that. Oh, that done he had the red one. He had that. Done now it's black. <laughs> now it's black, and it's horrible. I, we, I think it's the Ghostbusters. They look like they were done with a pin and yeah. ink, like in a, in prison. Well, the one I wanted to get, Bonnie yelled at me. I might have brought this up on the air last time I was here. I wanted to get a microphone, a real mic, with a cord strangling a girl in the front row <laughs> saying it's not about you bitch right? ah. and but bonnie goes is that is that what you want your audience to see how you Wait, feel you really about wanted them? this tattoo yeah i wanted it so bad just a fucking that's a, hilar an that's a hilarious line awesome. but to even an think you would actually do that is a, even better an angry mic just the cord strangling something that's fine girl. that's good and she's like you know but they wouldn't uh, see that huh they wouldn't see it I'm doing it. See, I'm getting these tattoos for. I'm doing a. Show. I'm trading a show for this guy. He's having like some outdoor hot rod. You love this shit. So he's having a big hot rod show. Bikers, yeah. hot rods. I'm so I'm gonna a big host hot the. Hot rod guy. I, oh, I, I like I'm driving fast, but I'm gonna host the event. Yeah. You know, it's a Sunday afternoon, and uh, you know he's, we're trading for tattoos. It's called barter. That's what the whole country's coming down to is barter. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Because the the do, the. Do, the the value of the dollar is dropping. The value of gold, everything's dropping. So it's all it's going to barter. Bill Devane tells me I should buy gold. That's right. His well, father told him to buy land, and he did, and he did very well for himself. Yep. Who's he? Oh boy, who's he? You really need to know who he is. Bill Devane. Yeah. By the way, for the people out there that I I, I didn't, I, I, yeah, I, I, it's not the Glee guy. I just threw that out there. I, I don't know who Sean Collier is or whatever the fuck. Who is he? Who is he? I don't know. People are obsessed. They're like, that's not the Glee guy. Yeah, I know that. I just threw that out there. I had no idea. I had no idea. I don't know the name of the Glee guy who overdosed, and I don't know who Sean Collier is. He's a guy hockey that, player. Well, the Glee guy that, that so, overdosed. So what, why was he mentioned in Tracy's phone call? I guess he came up around the same time as the Boston Bomber. I don't know. Exactly. It's so I funny. said, yeah, that's the Glee guy. I, it was a throwaway stupid thing I said. If you want to get Drosh on the phone and I'll talk him and I'll get him a cover up. He should, we already okay. tried. We tried. What did he say? We said you got to change uh, tattoo artists. Because then Troy Kwan came in here. Once again, not a big tattoo guy, but his, his shit looks really He's got good. good. Tattoos. He's got good pieces. And a nice body, yeah. <laughs> that looks like one of those futuristic <laughs> barcodes that they put on you. We said that too. Did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says, he says, I said I seen. I said I seen better work carved into a tree. I told I you. <laughs> so oh funny. shit! So, oh. I don't want to say it. There's certain people going really. Even this is better. And what? It was against my will. I can't. I don't want to. I'll tell you off air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so conf What is he doing? Okay. What's wrong with I don't head? know what that was. <laughs> While he's writing, uh, Sean Coley, it was the, uh, she was talking about the MIT police officer. Oh, and I, oh, okay, uh, and you know what? Now I, I owe all of Boston oh, uh, an apology. I should know that guy's name. Yeah, that was a horrific fucking thing. That goes to your I didn't point know about him by the name. I apologize. So then saying. Your, that goes to your point about the media that we all know right. the killer's name and not the cop's name. I yes. so apologize now because I threw the glee thing in there because I didn't know him. Yeah. I said, oh, that's the Glee kid. That, that's, that was a hor horrible timing on my part. He's Everyone should know that guy's name, of course. Yeah. And he should have been on the fucking cover of Rolling Stone. Right. Oh, you're against this, too. Everybody's against I'm this. I'm not. It's, you can't really be against it. 
why it's freedom it, of the press, why, freedom of speech. Yeah, but I think Rolling Stone, uh, they're, it's a dick move. And well, we just did the whole thing, but oh. basically they're using the wrong picture too. They're making him look like a fucking rock star. Yeah, that's what it is. Like a Jim Morrison, or yeah. like uh, you know, like he's the lead singer of one of these young hip fucking bands out there. Yeah, okay, but freedom. They, of the do press. the story, put it on the cover if you have to. But there, you could have picked so many different other pictures where people would have been sort of okay with it. Okay, I just heard this on IMS, so it's not me. Uh, but okay, so it's not me. It was one of listening to IMS on the way in instead of us. What's that? You son I of a bitch. I don't have it in my car. I don't have you guys. Oh, man. Maybe if uh, we have to barter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was a time when these guys they came in on a regular basis. Rich is obviously one of them. They would just give you free fucking uh, advertisement. No, free subscriptions. Oh. Well, oh, yeah. that someone, went away someone I think Bernie or one of them said on IMS, you wouldn't put George Zimmerman on the cover of Rolling Stone, you mm -hmm. know, and, yeah. and the fucking liberal guy, what's his name, Alan Combs, is sticking. I mean, no matter what. It, it, but you're right. They would never put that's Zimmerman point. on the cover like that. Because he's yeah. not a sex symbol. No, but even, even. Rolling Stone feels like this kid in a weird way is a sex symbol. They wouldn't put Zimmerman on the cover unless it was in context they would put him on the cover uh, a picture of him sitting uh, in the chair as a defendant they would put him in a, maybe the mug shot just anything but him just like standing there they wouldn't get a picture from his wife right hey where's a real nice picture yeah. of george we need a standing picture. against the wall right, right, or right. something yeah and and use that picture they wouldn't do it right even though he wasn't convicted of any crime uh, they still wouldn't do it. This guy wasn't convicted either, but come on. Right. Uh, but still, it, it's just because they know that there's a lot of little teeny bopper girls that are uh, dying over this kid. That's not the reason. They put it on there to get everybody in radio and TV to talk about yeah. that, too. And what, we're acknowledging that, but the you know the mainstream news, they make believe they're outraged, too. Like, look what Rolling Stone did as they show the cover. Yeah. The, those fucking idiots have been have been plastering this guy for, you know, day Since one. It happened, you right. know, yeah, yeah. it's you know, and, and and bottom line is all this happens and all this bullshit, but really, still nobody knows who won the marathon. You know, what kind of microphone is that? No, it was a. It's a square. No, I'm saying that was box. Poor taste. No, it's not poor taste. I'm saying that was in poor yeah, taste. Was in poor taste. Yeah, you're hoping for a laugh there. No, no, not at all. I'm just saying. I'm trying to be. There's some you know, Kenyan, I think. Oh, okay. Or an That's Ethiopian all. I, kid. You know, I, no, or, I'm totally. Uh, I have totally. Uh, what's the word? I was dumb. Felt bummed and horrible. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm bummed. <laughs> bummed isn't really the word. Bummed. It's totally dumb. I said dumb. Said dumb. Um, oh, I just said dumb. And I'm totally. I'm totally. He goes dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, my heart went out. This, you know, there's certain uh, things you hear on the news, yeah. whether it be that or uh, up in Connecticut or even just one kid. You know, a, a parent left a baby in a car that fucking, you know, died. So there's certain things that hit you hard. You know what I mean? I don't no. know why. That that hit me fucking hard. When uh, Liam Nelson's wife died, who, what, what was her name? Skiing. Look, I got good stuff. Liam Nelson's wife. Uh, he was skiing. Oh, Liam it. Nelson. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Uh, Taken. Yeah. Yes. It's Liam, probably yeah, not yeah. his real name, but no, it's, it's close. It is his real name. I Liam just forgot Nelson. about him. Liam what Nelson's was his wife's wife? name? She died of some kind of brain aneurysm. She or hit a right? tree. Oh, hit a tree, and then it skiing. turned into a fucking. And I was so fucking upset, and I never met the lady. Why? So, huh? Why were you upset? Because it was just a trap. Someone shouldn't die like that. What's your favorite There's... Liam Nelson movie? He's hmm. been in a lot of them. I like. I like the first Taken. I kind of liked the wolves, even though it it was it, it just had no. It just wolves attacking people, which kind of I liked. You know what I'm talking about? The Where gray, the, the gray, the gray. Oh, that movie stunk. It did stink, but I liked <laughs> the it. wolves. <laughs> it's like a child is in here. But there's some weird intelligence oh, that I is know. interwoven but in this <laughs> nonsense. The wolf. So the, you know, so your heart does go out. Yeah, of course. To, to Liam Nelson losing his wife, yeah. Mrs. Nelson, yeah. Mrs. And, Nelson, and right. these and and kids are crippled up in Boston over some fucking bullshit, some yeah, Arab yeah. bullshit. You know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's why he shouldn't be on the cover. I mean, really, no. we we have to take a break. Wait, but one more thing, you guys have three, eight TVs in here going, it and took not you a while. and not one on the British Open. I know, and every year we do that. So, is Mars working today? I, I do want uh, the British I think Open. I saw him. I, 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 I kind of got up on my computer, though, Voss. 
Oh. Tiger Woods uh, tees off at nine forty-five this morning. I think is his Care tee time. Him? No, I want. I want to. Uh, who do you want? Who, who you? Who you gunning for? Zach Johnson's just, want, leading. I, My, Zach Johnson is uh, minus five already. After a you run, tell Ty Webb, I'm holes. gunning for him. <laughs> I want somebody. I want a schlub to win. I want you know, like a Charlie Hoffman or just some Charlie um, Hoffman. No, I'm saying like a schlub, just some douche that hasn't won anything. What about the kid that won last week? Great, wow. 19 years old. 19 years old, the youngest. Arnold Palmer PGA should tell him ever, keep kicking him in the nuts, and then he should get a hat. <laughs> And then he should hit himself over the head with a golf club. I wish you were here. It was oh. an hour. We killed oh, him. It's just brutal. And we try not to kill Joe, but it, oh, well, I, I love Joe. You. It was fun. Though, I man. love Joe. I love hanging out with Joe. He's I one of the most too. fun people to go out and drink with. Uh, I love but, when he does our show. But that fucking t tat is is an abomination. And he's just making it's it worse. Yes. It was bad, and it now bad. I think it's even worse. Now it's worse. I think so. Why the the block lettering? Like, if you even wanted to do that, why not get some fancy that's what, some type of lettering that makes it look? That's what Troy said. Maybe make it into a banner. Like, right. There's so much you could do with that it. That was like stamped, like fucking <laughs> no frills torn. I tell you, the guy at Immortal Inc. would never do that to him. Ah, the guy, Josh, you son of a bitch. bitch. He, he is, would never do that. I he, saw what you did. No, well, no, because this guy, he's gonna run over to that tattoo. You hear? I, I plugged oh, it. No, today. no one listens to you guys. Yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> I plugged you. How about my tramp stamp? <laughs> oh, fuck. Rich, I'm going to give you a compliment. So I'm on Twitter yesterday. Oh, shit. You got a big fan out there, and the guy was panicking. He's like, you know, Rich is playing Levity Live, and I want it to, you know, turn out well for him. I want a big turnout for Rich Voss. Just to, I, I don't know the guy. Yeah. I'm like, don't worry. Actually, he's Rich coming in to agent. promote. Yeah. <laughs> no, I looked up all that. The club uh, owner. <laughs> <laughs> I was suspicious. It's my other account. I was suspicious. I was like, all right, is it the club owner? Does this guy work there? But yeah. it seems like he's just a fan. I go, don't worry. He's coming in to promote. So you're Levity Live all weekend? Yeah, which is Friday, a great Saturday, club. Sunday. Have you been up? I haven't been up there. I've never been. No, I was there when it was the other club. I know you like to eat well, like myself, but yeah. try the chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Oh, my God. When did you go up there? Who was working? I've seen um, Robert Kelly up there. I've seen Jim Brewer up there, and someone else. Oh, Robert I've Kelly! Been... That's why you ate the cookies. <laughs> yeah, they were all over the fucking place. Him and Dan Soder, they were great. Is they... I've never really watched Dan. Soder's Dan Soder's fucking funny. Man. Is he getting funny? He's getting a lot of heat. What do you mean getting? Well, I mean, you never I thought he was funny. No, no, no. But he's grown. He's, no, like, he's when I knew him, he was a new comic kind of. So uh, he's going to be one of the guys we're talking about in a few years. Yeah. No, he's got he's, a lot of heat. He's fucking funny, man. Uh huh. And Kelly killed, obviously. Kill Bob, he, I've never seen Bobby not do well with yeah. that dog and pony show. I've <laughs> never seen. And is Bobby he, kills, kills, not uh, not does, does yeah, well. Yeah, no, yeah. he kills, kills every time I see him. He's he's he does like a brewer kill. Bob, you know, Bobby, there was a time. Uh, fuck it, I don't oh, give a fuck anymore. No, he he. Sorry, Ed. I'm kidding. <laughs> Did I? No, no, I'm just saying. Right. Oh no, what are you? No, gonna it's say? not even that bad. He opened up for Dane Cook because I think it might mess yeah. up Dane <laughs> using him. He was better than Dane Cook. Oh, I saw yeah. him in a smaller venue uh, yep. this one year. It goes back a few years, and the people I, I was with, and Dane, I'm not taking anything away from Dane Cook. I'm not one of those fucking yeah. haters. I like Dane Cook, and I like his comedy. But Bob Kelly that night was definitely better than Dane Cook. I, I, listen, I don't want to I'll follow pretty much anybody. I don't want to go on after Bobby. Yeah. I really? Don't. No, because they're that not going to listen to intelligent humor after that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bobby no. can absolutely make it look like he's going off book. It's like he looks like he's telling his shit, he's doing his act, yeah. and then it looks like he's going off book when he's talking about something else, and and he does a little bit of crowd work in there to really make it look like he's, it looks like he's ad libbing the fucking mm -hmm. thing. Well, I wonder who was doing that twenty fucking years oh ago. Oh my god, you god Rich, like, Rich, open the get, door. We'll no, get, he's one we'll of get my to favorite. How great you are after no. the break. Don't worry no. about it. He is one of my favorite <laughs> people on the planet. All the fucked up people. He is a planet. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my favorite Sorry, people Bobby. on himself. Uh, <laughs> him, DeRosa, Colin. You can't get better fucking people to know. They're just. DeRosa like, is really fucking we went funny. To, too. We went to home uh, uh, grown ups to the premiere. Oh, you did? And we were hanging out with Colin after it. Oh, that's right. Colin said you were there, yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, he's he's just a fun guy that can take anything thrown his way. <laughs> <laughs> I was with you. Did you enjoy it? Oh, we had it was a, a no, great time. Yeah, we had a good time. We went there and then we went to the party. It was a lot of fun. How bad, you know? how bad is the movie? Oh, I'm not a critic. I don't know. I, I mean, he's not here, a critic. Here's how I look at the movie. Yeah, it'll do well. For it, it, it did forty did well, million right? the first weekend. Hmm. You know, for the for the audience it's targeting, they're going to love it. You okay. know what I mean? Right. I was happy we were able to get David Spade in. He was great on yeah. the show. Yeah. Huh? I forgot to bring you up. I wanted to so badly. You tell uh, uh, a couple of, uh, other radio guys have brought it up. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I was held hostage. But, oh, he does talk about it. Well, they, uh, Cowhead brought I talked about it on Cowhead. And then so Cowhead basically the story it. goes that when David Spade was coming up uh, before we knew him as David Spade. He was a new comic. He was a new comic. and you were From in, Arizona. And he came into New York to do some uh, shows? What happened? I was hanging with a guy, Frankie, who was a heroin addict. And I was a crack <laughs> addict. Frankie, well, Frankie wow. Garcia was a major heroin addict. And Is I was a major around? crack addict. No, he's dead. And when he died, he died the day after his dad died. So they didn't want to have another funeral, so they cremated him and just threw him in his dad's coffin. Wow. Right? True. Like, yeah. The, the sister said, we can't deal with this. And they put him in the same oh, coffin. We can't deal with this enough. <laughs> enough. Fucking plant them both. So Frankie's a, a major heroin addict, and I'm a cry. And we're doing a one-nighter, and this kid from Arizona comes up. He's new, uh, you know, a prop act, and I'm horrible. He was a prop act? Yeah, he started off, he was doing props. Wow. He, he, he was horrible. I was horrible. And Frankie was a good comic, and we were driving him back to New York, and we go, we got to make a couple stops. Oh, and no. Saw, and we drove him up to Spanish Harlem, a little white kid from Arizona. We drove him up to Spanish Harlem. I said, look, i got to go see my sister. She lives here. Yeah, she's not doing well. And, you know, there's fucking guys in the streets with knives and shit. And I run up, I get some crack. And he's like, can you fucking take me back to the, you know, you drop him off at the improv. And then Frankie... Uh, we, I go, we got one more shop, and we went to the Lower East Side oh, for Frankie to get heroin. So Frankie's getting heroin, and now we're driving around as Frankie's in the back seat shooting up. <laughs> <laughs> With right. David Spade? <laughs> he, should, he wasn't David Spade. He was no, a new I know, fucking open micer. You know? Was he oh, horrified? Man. I wish I asked him about this. He was from fucking Arizona. He Does was he a, remember this? Yeah, he said, because when Cowhead brought it up, he said, yeah, those fucking guys took me hostage while they went to get drugs or something. <laughs> but, I mean... He shot up in the car? Frankie was shooting up. It was hard. It, he was in the back seat. That's why he had the luxury of shooting up. I was driving, so I couldn't smoke at the time. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. There was times I drove and smoked oh, at I, the same I time. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. And sure. cooked as I was driving. But, <clears throat> for, you know, in New York, just, the roads are too bumpy to do that. Right, right, yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't, cook, can't cook your shit up. <laughs> On the bumpy I, roads the bumpy of New York. Roads. I was pulling. <laughs> I, went, I was on 167th Street, and we just copped, uh, like, you know, some cracks, some coke. And I'm pulling up the street, and I see at the end of the fucking block, there's cops there pulling everybody over. And I go, pull over. Uh -oh. So we get up to him. I go, I'm fucked. And he goes, pull over. And I went to pull, and I turned right and took off, and he took his billy club and smashed my taillights as I fucking drove away. He showed you. Yeah, yeah. well, I said, I'm getting the fuck out, and I just <laughs> took off. Wow. Did I ever tell you the time I tried to rip the dude off, and he punched me in the face? Did I ever tell you that story? Probably. I think I did. Uh, tell I, me he's trying to fucking Did you ever try heroin? Feelings. Just a couple of times. With I didn't the like it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Twice. Two or three times. The same. Uh, heroin's making a huge comeback. It is? That's what they were saying yesterday on one of the news shows. It's been around for a while, though. But they're saying oh. it's making a comeback. Yeah. Whatever that means. It doesn't seem like it ever went away. Mm. I think, I mean, you know, the, the whole thing, It's they're all fucked up. But, you know, you see meth in the news, so, oh, meth, meth, because it's in the white neighborhoods. That's why meth got so fucking famous, you know, this crystal meth. But it was in the fucking white neighborhoods. If that was up in, in the projects... You wouldn't hear all these meth stories. And no. It wouldn't be glorified the way it is. You know, crack is really up in the black neighborhood, so it's not, it was never as glorified as, as meth is. Well, you it know, was in New, New Jack City. Well, meth has been around forever. You know, it was a biker drug, crystal. Yeah, yeah, crank, yeah. crank was biker drug. Remember were, that shit from the 80s. Yeah, fucking crank. You used to snort it because you didn't have enough money for coke, and it would burn your fucking it would nose. It burn, yeah. It was like glue. 
Yeah, it it's was like a, like like rubber cement kind of. See, it didn't cut like coke. You tried it was meth? Goopy. Yeah. I snorted a little uh, crank yeah, back crank. in the day. A little crank. A little but is crank. that is that what they cook now? I have no idea Neither what they do, do I. these days. You know, I have no fucking idea. All I know is you'd stay up for a day or two days, and you're fucking just oh yeah, it was crazy, wired and sounds, horrible. Yeah, and sounds awful. I never it, had a lot of it. it was usually, I never bought it. I never like had it. My my brother's friend or something would come over and have some, and be like, oh, what is that? Ah, oh, and the burn. Oh, that's funny when people that did drugs. I, 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 I never bought it. I, I mean, never. I, I didn't fucking lure drugs. her. I didn't lure her into the car. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> I, I never really. I never bought drugs. I you, usually. You were in a band. You got them free. Yeah, that's usually what happened. And or my house was like a party. And it made it seem mm. different if you didn't buy them. Like yeah. you weren't addicted or something. Yeah, it was always around when I went to college. If you had coke and but you couldn't I, get we, pushed, we never really copped it. It was always just like so it was around. It yeah. was just there. I, I guess we driving in the fucking city. To I don't know. Drugs. I guess we technically bought it. Maybe Jesus. throw a few bucks in. I don't know. We just uh, whatever. I don't want to get into my drug stories. You know. Yeah, I, I yeah like man. Levity live this weekend. We got to take a break, Rich Voss. So uh, starting tonight or it's Friday and Saturday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, I, I okay. got to leave here and go work on the set today. It's a great club. It really is. They do a really good job up there. Yeah, yeah. I gotta find out. And the food is really good. They hired a, a pretty decent chef to you know make make the food good. Well, Chris, I mean Chris, who owns Gotham, they own it. Yeah, I know. They run. They he runs it tight. He runs. You know what I mean? It's a whole nother level. level. There's some pride there. Yeah. You know, uh, Vinny has that same type of feel where he has pride in what he does. I know it's easy Vinny, to make fun of no, the guy. No, Vinny's my friend, but I like... I know it's easy to make fun of him, but he runs it, uh, you know, you could tell it's his baby. Well, yeah, and, and what I like how he decorates... I didn't like hanging. that he added his name to the fucking sign. Well, that he hangs... Vinny everything. Brand's uh, Stress Factory. It used to just be the Stress yeah. Factory. Well, I, I, he took the phone down, but he hung up all the shit from garage sales, like bicycles and bird cages. Hang, yeah. He's oh like a God. fucking hoarder, okay? <laughs> Does it look like TGI Fridays? It's just, yeah. I, uh. yeah. We went there last night to do open mic. You know, me and Bonnie, that's our night out. We take the kid, we went to open mic. And plus, we're all the like a mic. horrible night out, by the way. Because <laughs> that's what you guys do for a living. Why, why wouldn't on Bonnie your did, night out you go do something different? We do. We did Monday night. We went to a director's premiere. But uh. we, uh... On the uh, the other night, because she wanted to do a set, you know, so we go out, she, we practice new material, and then we went out for pizza, you know, and then plus you go into the open mic night. Me and Bonnie, we're like fucking major celebrities. They're oh. like they they it, it at op- an open mic night. You know, it opens yeah, yeah. up like the Red Sea when we walk in. Oh, That's you know, your parts, you know. It's all relative. It really yeah. is. Travis, you got that Eddie Vedder song for the break? No, I have to have Coke Logic send it. To oh me. man, I, I he D- sent it another to thing. Another thing. Yeah. Another thing. Yeah. No one would even know what those initials meant. <laughs> oh, you can't get over it, right? Yeah, I can't I know. get over it. Like, like he's walking around. No one can look at that and go, "Oh, that means keep kicking them in the nut." Like keep no one will know what that means. The... But he knows. He it's his thing with George Carlin. He knows, man. He doesn't care if others know. Ask. Why didn't he just? Put the monkey claw from prior. <laughs> I mean, that was, that's a pretty fucking great yeah. bit. And no yeah. one, who, no one would look at that and go, "Wow, that's really nice work." That should let you know right there that you you got a really bad tat. Yeah, that's Look really this. horrible. This fucking work. This dude. That looks great. It's unbelievable. All right. yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not going to say the We've name. already looked at it three times. It's I'm terrific. fucking very impressed. It's a very nice test. <laughs> that's terrific. That's you do terrific. know we're not chicks, right? Uh, it's nice, okay? That's all. <laughs> what else do you need from us? <laughs> well, I mean. We're not chicks. You do that with chicks. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, He's going to his beautiful tattoo. Yes, it's nice, nice work. Right. I mean, Sam. Sam's. I, like I said last time when I was here, Sam's isn't bad. I mean, yeah. You know, it, it looks like a kid's book, but it's not bad. I like it. Jack White. A kid's book. Like the writing and uh, the books I read for. You know, we'll get to the next break and we'll move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do it. All right, fair enough. Oh. Ah, the Van Halen tune. <laughs> tattoo, tattoo. Oh, this is the new Van Halen song. And now that David Lee Ross, a friend of ours, we didn't, we didn't ask him about the new song, did we? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Make your way. Look at the sister walking around here. A, a sexy sister, sister walking around here with a sundress on. Yeah. And all her shit be just fucking jiggling mm. and shit. Mm-hmm. How fucking hot are sundresses? We, we they're said the just greatest, got here. They're huh? the greatest things ever. They're like baby doll slash sundresses. They're fuck. They're like you because you could fantasize that you could just lift them up. Yeah. You know. Lift them up, or you could just like slide the straps off the shoulders, and they'll just, just fall to the floor. Oh, what's the? But it'll just. <laughs> I should date this hot chick, Kathy. She was so fucking hot. Yeah. She How hot was she? She wore sundresses, and and there's and you come off like from the pool uh -huh. or something. And they're a little sweaty. You got that sweat on you. You could see through them for the most part. Slide up and down each other in the sun. They walk toward. Toward the sun, you kind of look through, right through the sundress. I'm sure Bonnie looks good in a sundress. Yeah, what's huh? Her? <laughs> <laughs> Do you look good in the sun? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, she Red. does. She's looking really pretty the I, last couple of days. I go, man, you're looking very pretty. Is you she know? gussing herself up? <laughs> she looked some, pretty. Something? I felt so. She looked so good that I fixed her clogged toilet. This bitch wow. got so much shit in her. She clogged two toilets at once. I'm like, stop. Oh, God. Wait, your wife is clogging the toilets at home? Yeah, but she looks, she's been looking really pretty. Yeah. You know, and. Yeah? You just, have you, what have you done about that? <laughs> huh? What is going on there? What's in his shirt? Uh, it's a little kid a walking sword. around. Here's a sword. He's walking around with his sword. He's he's the radio watch here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! What goes on around here? Is uh, that a tour? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's she got a book deal. Nice, Bonnie, and she's doing good, man. She's fucking up, Bonnie. Do you treat her nicely? I, it's all relative. What do you call night? You know, I fucking yeah. I hear you. You know, I mean, what the fuck? I pay the bills. What I, you know, fuck? I fucking uh. Wait. We play t a lot of tennis now. Do you Shit. and Lindsay yeah. play tennis? What? Do you guys uh, play tennis? What? <laughs> Why? Why? I hate tennis. Are you kidding me? I've always hated tennis, and there was a time. Look at the baby man. Look at him. Ugh. Milos. <laughs> Seinfeld? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Um, that's my go-to. Did though. you wet yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I there was a time I tried all sports. Milos. I, I hated tennis. Oh, I always Jeff. hated fucking it. Great man. You like tennis, huh? Yeah, man. You fucking. You like tennis, and I bet he's not even married like I am. No, uh, I I'm not a big tennis fan. No. no I like paddleball. Way more than tennis. In the little, in that, you mean outside or in that? Outside, in inside, I don't give a fuck. Thank you, Jackie. I would just, I would play oh, with okay. myself. Thanks. I would play with myself if I had to. I'd play with myself. I didn't care. I liked paddle ball. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What you was like paddle ball? And, and then I liked handball until it got a little, until, a yeah. little homoerotic with that oh, asses you up played shit. asses up? What's ass is up? Oh, uh, my it's a long, God. It's a Long Island thing, I think. Is it just Long I Island? I don't think that. We would play. I'm it, not sure, but it was big in Long Island. We would play chinky handball, you know, where it had a bounce. Chinky handball. Yeah, it had a bounce before it hit the wall. Yeah. But what's ass is up? When you lose, oh. you had to fucking Assume go against the, the wall. position on the wall like you were over. being frisked by a cop. And then everyone got a shot. At and your then, ass. And then yes. they threw the ball as hard as they could at your ass. And the worst thing that could possibly happen <laughs> was the ball would bounce. Hit the wall, bounce back, and hit you in the nuts. We did that in Jersey, too. <laughs> did you? Jersey yeah, yeah, had that, Oh, too? you did asses up in yep. Jersey? Yep. I, you know, because they play pri uh, handball in prison a lot. Oh, yeah. I don't think they play asses up on the handball No, court. no, that's the shower. <laughs> <thing. laughs> and then back then, the you're wearing loosey-goosey shorts because it's summer, so you're not protected. It was just like, what are we doing? Oh, How about we just up. play another game? Why do we have to stop uh, the festivities for the asses up play part? Play asses up. Oh, no. We were, we're playing. already playing for money, so, you know, the game yeah, meant something. Someone's winning. They should play asses up with softball and the losing team. Oh, with a softball. Jesus. With a bat. Yeah. Remember, you would make your body as tiny as possible, but the ass was still there. Uh, for everyone's it's enjoyment. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> terrible, terrible fucking game. So stupid. Oh, Jesus, they all call. Wow. We're, we're, we're doing a benefit for Otto. Yeah, I know. When is oh, that? Yeah. Uh, the 28th. How's he doing? 
I don't know. I, I haven't talked. Tweet. I haven't. I, I heard he's doing better, but we're doing a benefit in Jersey, and the guy asked me to to you know mention it. Yeah, like viral I'm, meningitis or something. That's Jesus. some. That's some fucking. That should be serious. That's how do you get stuff. that? I don't want. I don't know. know. I don't even want to know. Don't even. Yeah, tell I know. Me. You get anxiety thinking about. I don't it. even want to know. If it happens, uh, it happens. Oh. I just don't want to know it. You know how it happens. I don't know. <laughs> Terrible. What's the benefit? Uh, July 28th in Parsippany, I think, or in that area. Go to the website. The guy's counting on you. This is the only reason we're talking about it. He just texted you. Oh, yeah. I don't know where the fuck it is. Text me where it is. It's in Parsippany. I don't, I'll don't. i find out where it is on the 28th that morning. Could you tattoo it to your arm or something for everybody? <laughs> what am I, Memento? <laughs> yeah, memento. Memento? No, it is Memento. It's huh? Memento. <laughs> the gay one. But yes, that's a breath mint for homosexuals. <laughs> oh, I want to get gross on the phone so bad. Go ahead, oh, let's God. go. <laughs> that is fucking... I'm, I'm beside myself with that tat. It keeps going to voicemail. Oh, we're, it's we're, so yeah, okay. bad. It, the microphone, just because it's got crisscrossy lines that is supposed to resemble a mic screen... Like, it doesn't look anything like a microphone. It looks like a cigarette. That tattoo a lit cigarette. is what you get when you get your first tattoo or someone does it with, a, like, yes. a, a needle and Indian ink. Right, yeah. yeah okay. Even the, even the Indi lettering Indian is Indian ink, horrible. by the way. Indian ink. Yeah, the K's don't match. They're horrible. A bacterial meningitis he had. Oof. Oh. All right. I guess that's different. Yeah, we got to raise some money for Otto. Yeah, it'll be good. All right. We'll do that. Levy, Voss, Bonnie, and whoever else we yeah, get. Yeah, I retweeted it a couple times when I think Levy or somebody else uh, tweeted it, but I, uh, it fucking amazes me that he... By the way, can we just... Destroyed his arm. Can we just let the people know we're, we're fully aware of the, the picture of the locker with the WOW stickers and the noose. We have chosen to not talk about it. Eh, it's whatever. Whatever. I need more honey. Why? It's not sweet enough. All right. My tea for my throat. But everyone's like, I can't Sorry, believe Jackie. you're, you know, uh, I, you know, uh. What the hell happened? Thank you, oh, Jackie. Jackie, thank what you college so you go much. To? What? SUNY Brockport. SUNY Brockport. Um, I'm going to be a junior. Oh. See how fast she came oh. in. It's, it huh? was terrific. Mm. Fucking great. What, uh, what's your, uh, college does your boyfriend go to? <laughs> He doesn't go to school. Why not? He's a landscaper. Oh, you yeah. can you believe that? High. Fucking landscapers getting that? <laughs> huh? It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, he's probably out in the sun. He's all cut. Looks all tan and yep. everything. Yeah. You know. Except for his uh, thighs. He's got yeah. the really white thighs, and then yeah. from there down is all. Yeah. You'll see it in the fucking winter when he's begging you for money to go buy dinner because he doesn't have a fucking lawn to cut. All right? And he's too lazy to shovel snow. Oh, you'll man. See, he plows. He Maybe. plows. Yeah. <laughs> snow? Oh, snow. In Rochester, right, right, right. no, don't make that. Snow, I, we got no, confused. I, in Rochester, it snows a lot, so it works. Oh, that's where you're from, Rochester. Yep. Boy, does it oh. snow a lot up there. It's gross. Oh, yeah. Fuck. fuck. So then, when he, and you're just down here interning. Yep. Did he come down with you? No. So you down here alone? Yes. Have you ever been on a movie set? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Rich. <laughs> you ever been in a, B, uh, a BMW? No. You never been in, in the five twenty eight XI, my oh. new one? Oh. What year? It's <laughs> not new. What year? It's is new it? to you. Twenty ten. Oh. That's new to you. Yeah, not you don't new. buy a new car. I know, but you can't say it's new. It's new to you. Okay. It's new ish. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's in good shape, but how tall is your boyfriend? He's five six, five is he seven. Built? Is he like fucking? I mean, is he a tough dude? Yeah, he's Italian, Sicilian. He's a, oh, all mm. right. You better leave him. Oh, no. I like Roger. How long have you been together? Two years. Two years. Two years. What about before that? Who'd you have there? Um, <laughs> I, My longest relationship before that was like three months. I was never really... Oh, wow, really? Yeah, okay. I was never really a commitment person. I love how she's, bored, I love how she's talking like she's 45 years old. I yeah. know, right? Yeah, very, you're you're, you're too young to have long relationships. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. I never had one. I always got bored too quick. And oh. <laughs> to Is that an engagement one. ring? It's a promise ring, yeah. A oh. promise what? That what? That he'll, buy, <laughs> that he'll buy a new plow. <laughs> I promise. I promise. I'll buy a new pickup this year. What's the promise ring? Is that a pre-engagement ring type thing? Is that what happens? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's yeah. Oh, that's, that's adorable. It looks like it was an heirloom from a family member. 
No, I think he bought it. Yeah. But he did pretty nice. He didn't ask for any help or anything. He picked it out himself. So yeah. I guess. Isn't engagement a promise? Yeah, I'm yeah confused. That's a pre-promise. They're just adding an extra step. That's a guy that doesn't yeah. totally want to commit. Yeah, that's, that's but he wants to, like, <laughs> literally, <laughs> like, like get off my back, but this is meaningless. Yeah. Don't ask me about it anymore. Yeah, yeah, give that yeah, to yeah. you just before you yeah. move to New York City by yourself? Here's, here's a promise. <laughs> you know what? Here's, here's, a pro here's a promise pocketbook. I promise <laughs> yeah. that the next thing I get you might be a ring. Oh, right. Jackie's moving to dreary old Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get the promise ring? Like a year ago. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. He wanted to make sure that ring was on your finger when right? I came oh, back before from you moved to New York City. Yeah. That's when I got it. Yeah. Why were you in Philly? You were interning there? She tried school. Yeah, I tried to go to Temple University for a semester, and it was way too scary and yeah. why why was it scary down there i saw someone shoot themselves in the face oh and, yeah you talked about that yeah and it Jeez, was just crazy. right why, next to the north philly so i was right in the ghetto and i was just scared all the time to be yeah. myself that i was going to be taken. well you shouldn't racially profile like that yes you should it's fine you just walk around no 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 i didn't racially it's profile terrible. i just said north philly was scary oh uh, boy they shot themselves in the face yeah like an alum came back on campus and just why decided i don't i don't know why I didn't talk to them before. Damn! I just oh. watched it. It was it was not fun. Oh, oh man! He no. died doing what he loved. A lot of shoot himself shoot in the face. face. <laughs> a lot of blood. <laughs> a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. No. Yeah. Yeah. How I, far were you? How far away? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, horrible. I mean, it was pretty far in the distance. Yeah, so. still though. Yeah, I mean, still it was it was scary to Did see. Did you see him it drop? Was, yeah, and he kind of just dropped oh, right on his back. Oh, that's Was he a college kid or just an he alumni? Was, no, I think he was supposed to he was an alumni. He came so. back. Just yeah, to, he came back to the alumni Just to circle. give everyone nightmares for the rest of their lives. Right? Exactly. What, what a great guy. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I get you're fucking in pain, but how about you do that uh, behind closed doors somewhere? Uh, Holy Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, they thought it was how a student How about you don't include first. us? So huh? They thought it was a student <laughs> at first, so we weren't allowed to leave. Like, we weren't allowed to walk around or anything, because they didn't know what happened. Since oh. you've been in New York, how long have you been away from your boyfriend? About two months now? Yeah, two months. How many How many guys have you made out with? No. Tell the truth. <laughs> None. Not, even, not sex, just made out None. with. Made out. <laughs> uh, come on, how, how many, many make out How many do you neck out. with? None. None? None. None. Right. No I'm a faithful necking? person. Heavy, any heavy petting? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> huh? No, but I, <laughs> isn't petting heavy petting? By the way, it's what a, makes it heavy petting? That sounded so stupid. <laughs> You're right. No, heavy that's petting. something from our fucking day and age. What was heavy the difference petting. between petting and heavy petting? Uh, fucking finger. <laughs> a finger's in. A finger. With heavy a petting. finger is in for a heavy petting. Finger. Yeah, finner. Heavy petting and left marks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. You can, heavy petting or discipline. I don't know. I, I just, uh, I never thought that word was good. Petting. <laughs> don't get like, into petting. Petting. <laughs> do they mean that like petting? Like you do a dog? Ugh. Only with a person? Well, Cuddling. It's just man, so horrible. You forget. But back we'll, in the day. Back in the day, it was right. like petting an animal. You might, you might be you right. about it. You're like, shooka, shooka, shooka. It wasn't one of those scratching and petting it. We didn't have hairless cats when we were growing up. That's true. You got That's a, a new invention. You got yourself So the point. whole petting thing made sense. Oh, she's just like my daughter, my middle daughter. Oh, looks like her and just, uh, uh, that's just so it's, some guy. So it's turning you on then. No. Ew! <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, said my, I said my middle daughter, not my five-year-old. <laughs> God, we should do some vaudeville together, Rich. We're good. The car. We're fucking good. Pumping up my Boss shit like that. Practice. Back in the day, like, kind of, like I've never been a touchy person. I met this girl after my divorce. Fucking as beautiful as you possibly can be. Mm -hmm. I met her in South Carolina. We started dating. She came to Alabama to see me work. We had sex. She was beautiful. Oh, wow. She was in radio, and she was really good. How'd you dead. ruin it? And then she came to Florida, and you know when you just lose something? I was laying in bed, and I was in Florida. I had a fever, and I was really sick. And we're laying there, and she put her hands, like, she's, you know, petting and rubbing. She goes, what can I do for you? I go, first of all, get your hands off me. Oh, and, like, wow. Cause I'm just, I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't Rich hates to be, to be touched, and, even by beautiful women. And then Jeez. I just kind of, like, I got mean, or I don't know. But I always look back and go... 
She was the nicest, sweetest, most beautiful oh, girl. All she wanted to do rich. was take care of you and make you feel better. And oh, you were an, and you were an her. asshole, yeah, Maybe because I was sick. And maybe. I don't know, but I you apologize. You don't like being touched? I, huh? What's wrong with you? You don't like being touched he by a girl? It. Yeah, it depends. What do you mean by touch? I mean, you know, yeah. When I'm it's... sick, I want to be left alone. Yeah, you yeah. just want to like, be. Just get away. I apologize to Sue Larson if I was rude to you don't 20 years ago. Don't give her name out. Yeah, don't <laughs> Why? Jesus. She's in radio. Huh? Where does she work? I don't know now. I would love she... to hear her side of the story. <laughs> no, I apologize. Right. Right. She was oh, the yeah. sweetest, nicest girl. Beautiful. Just, just. Sounds uh, I would. That's the kind of girl I would have married. Oh, instead of the one you have, I you guess. You really are. <laughs> just, Bonnie should just fucking, treat? Bonnie should shoot you in the face. You're just a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's what I mean. Bonnie what a be, treasure. Bonnie, what a wonderful. Bonnie's the kind of girl I married. That's the kind of girl. There's certain girls that you're attracted to. Bonnie you know? rules. And he likes them with pigtails. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> all right, Jackie. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. Oh, what a great oh there's the honey for you. Oh, oh that's right. It was all about the honey. The, all oh, about the honey. All all right. Yeah. 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 All right. She rules. She's my, my, my She's daughter. Great. My daughter interns. Interning is the biggest fucking scam in business. <laughs> no kidding. My daughter interns right. around, you know, for like a shoe company, a big distributor, and I'm going, it's fucking like slavery. They do all it's the work just, for free. It's a scam. It's, My daughter yeah. said, she's, she's at, uh, 20, she interned, she goes, you know what, I'm going to hire an intern for me. She, she's trying to get someone to intern her intern. For her internship? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's trying to find someone to do it for like her. Like an intern for Creamerica. <laughs> sure. It's just I you know, feel, Of course. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rich, well, what? Uh, so you got a, a daughter, uh, but but it's like, it's not like interning is nothing. Don't you get to put it on an application yeah, for a you job, get, your resume? Yeah, you get like credits and you get yeah. all yeah, on it, man. I got to jump in. Yeah. What? You want to go down the list of interns we've had over the years oh, and how many boy. are actually in the business? Oh, yeah, but you boy. can't be a Sam shit. Roberts might be the only one. You oh, can't man. be a shit intern and then be like, well, I technically interned, so why don't I have a Sam, job? Sam, do you know any other intern we've had in the last eight years that is actually in the business? Just Sal. <laughs> oh. And that really says that's something. A, that's a big drop off right there. I, I hear from guys here and there that are sort of uh, doing okay after their in internship here, but they're yeah. not doing radio shows. I, mean, I guess I could use the credits for another occupation, right? I mean, they're school credits. I would think if you have a resume and you're going yeah. around says, I, I did an internship at this, here were my duties, yeah. things like that, it's got, you know. Can't you, hurt. You can use the time resume. to meet people. And, and then networking, the, sure. Yeah. You're meeting people. And then the owner that you're uh, uh, applying for says, "This all looks great, uh, but my nephew, who's an alcoholic, I think uh, can do it a lot better." He's got the gig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. we'll keep well, your application on file. Yeah, the position uh, uh, no longer exists. We just have the interns do it for free. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> we don't need to hire anybody. Coincidentally, I see you're you an know, intern here. You know, uh, an even bigger scam, and I had to do this when I was in Rochester. I think there's a lot of people who are going to be able to relate to this one. Was temp to hire? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I was a temp to hire for Xerox. I was mm -hmm. hired by Xerox. Technically, it was. It wasn't a temporary position. It was a full time fucking job. <sighs> With, and they would just kind of like dangle the, the higher part over your fucking head. And the reason was they didn't have to pay for uh, health insurance and all these other yeah. benefits. Nice. It was called temp to hire, but it was bullshit. It wasn't like they hired and said, we need you for a week or two. It's like, no, here's a job. And I would go, when does it end? Oh, it doesn't end. And I'm oh, like, well, then oh, why is it, it a temp ends. to hire job? Yeah. yeah. They're they could pay you less and give you no health insurance. Companies get away with murder. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if they're getting away with that one as much as it, they used to, you know, twenty some odd years ago. That's bullshit. They probably passed a law. You would, you would yeah. think, right? Well, and I Xerox mean, workforce up in Rochester, there was a shitload of temp to hire. I mean, a, a lot. It wasn't just a little bit. Did the Every, real, go ahead? Did the real employees look down on the temp to hires? Oh, no, we're all just losers. There was just all we oh. were in shipping and receiving. I'm not making oh, I'm man. making it sound like I had some amazing fucking <laughs> shipping and job receiving. that really mattered. But still, the, yeah. the shipping and receiving people need health insurance too. What obviously, do do? they probably need it more than what did we do? Packing peanuts. We uh, played ping pong. Oh, 
So maybe nice. I shouldn't bitch. Shipping, receiving, and, then, and ping pong. And then we'd, uh, you know, we learned quickly how to drive the forklifts, which yeah. was a lot of fun because we fucked around with that. Oh yeah, I fucking. I never. I I officially wasn't supposed to be driving the forklift. No, shit, forklifts are made we, to have fun we, on job sites. We yeah. got in, extremely hungover because it was the days when the Opster was partying. Uh, with the rest of them, so you'd come to work. You know, everyone knows this shit. You're fucking two, three hours <sighs> of sleep, still drunk. You sit there, and we'd play ping pong and just shoot the shit and shit talk everyone, waiting for a fucking truck to come in. Then the truck would come in, and we'd have to do the. Did you ever play in uh, in Hong Kong? <laughs> there's a story I heard. <laughs> and then we get the manifesto for the for the uh, the the truck. Go through all that. And then uh, back to ping pong. Mm. That's what happened. I, I was working in a warehouse, and they said, you are not allowed on the forklift. You are not allowed. Oh, wow. And I went out for lunch and got high and came back and decided to take the forklift for a ride. And I just oh. crashed and <laughs> took yeah. all these fucking rows of bo I mean, it was a major accident. Yeah. And... Uh, on the spot, I got fired. Wow, I on mean, the I, spot. But I got fired from everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Uh, the attempt to hire people are, are calling. Oh, my God. That makes the phones ring? <laughs> uh, Chris in Tampa, what's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, man. Hi. I work for a uh, company that handles attempt to hire uh, positions, staffing company. And it works for companies because they get to try you out before they want to invest all their money in giving you, like you said, benefits, vacation, all that time. And they can pay you less. I can now, it's all, now it'll all change with Obamacare. I understand, but that's that's the theory. But the fact is, why would they ever hire you, hire you? Because that would mean more resources from the right. company yeah. going away. They would have to now pay your health insurance and everything else and give you a better salary, too. Yep. Yeah. Well, a smart company will eventually hire you if you're doing a good job because then now they risk losing you to a company that's going to give you a They end up hiring an extremely small percentage of the temp to hires. That's the point. All right. Fair that's enough, though, if it works. True. Someone's saying that uh, uh, Josh in Massachusetts. Go ahead. Hey, in Massachusetts, they have a law that you can't be tempted to hire more than six months. Well, there's a company out in Massachusetts that's well known that will bring you in for six months let you go for a week and then rehire you to the tent agency for another six months so they don't have to pay the base. Yeah, there you go. There's Sounds always like a workaround. How, Sounds like how uh, De Niro was getting the um, casino license. It's like, I oh, yeah, we go, when it reaches the top of the pile, we give you another title, throw it at the bottom. And start when he's over. applying for the casino license. Oh, yeah, right, right. And Toyota still hey, uses it. Hi. Kevin in Mississippi. Hey man, yeah, Toyota does this as well. They uh, they hire and give you. They, they'll tell you it may take you up to three years, and uh, say they bring in a group of like four temps, and there's one hot girl in it. Everybody's just completely fucked because she's automatically going to get it, and, and you just know it. And these people are working right beside you, doing the same shit you are for like a third of what you're doing it for. <laughs> if you have a job for three years, that's not a temporary job. No, that's a job. Holy fuck. Amazing. Just amazing. To me, if you have a job for three years, that's retirement. Did you work in a factory once, Rich? Yeah, I've worked in everywhere. Uh, hold on. We might have an old friend of yours on the line. Mike, oh, you I know Rich Voss? Yeah, yeah, I know Voss. What, where did we, we, are you from Plainfield? Yeah, yeah Rich, it's Mike. Mike, uh... Yeah. No. Oh. But he doesn't know who you are. Yes, I'm not, I, I can't play this. Yes, I do. I, I, who is it? Who is it, Rich? Mike V, v is his last name, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Mm. Go ahead, yeah. Mike. What's Richard, going on? We're talking Dugan. What? Oh, oh the, the place that had the Zodiac signs that we all yeah, stole? Yeah, they were stolen in school. Yeah. <laughs> what? They, they had these round Zodiac. There were these round Zodiac things <laughs> that if you spun them around, yeah. and it landed on a birthday, a Zodiac. It was just a wheel with Zodiac. And I would steal them. And, and I would pilfer the place and take them to school and sell them all day long. Yeah, <laughs> in, high school, in, high, in high school. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I had to make money, you know, back then. Because, and that's is that where I got fired with the forklift? Was it Dugan's there? I think no, it was. he just fired you because you were stealing everything. You ah, <laughs> uh, say, <laughs> little thief. I think I owe Mike eighty bucks from back in the day. 
Watch it, Rich. <laughs> no, for uh, you let me I'll for lunch it, money. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll talk later. Hey, good, good hearing you. Take care. All, All right, right, Mike. Mike V, everyone. Uh, well, that was part of the thing. You had to steal from the job. This, it's I really knew, hard I to do nowadays. Yeah. This guy was great. I knew his family. I knew him since, like, fourth grade. I used to go to his house for lunch. His mother was the nicest. I, the whole family. You actually, I, uh, you actually knew someone and had a good friend in fourth grade? He was a nice... Yeah, really it was strange. like fourth grade. I, it's or, very unusual to hear a story on. like that. Why? And then, then we went and bought some coke. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he, he, he didn't do it drugs. Was like that. He didn't do drugs. He was no. one guy that didn't Who do... Who did fourth grade? Like in fourth grade, <laughs> Rich no, Jesus. He, in high school, I knew, I knew all the way from fourth grade to, to high school. Some we didn't get a, we didn't get into the high school up. years. We were talking yeah, about yeah. fourth grade. But he was like the smartest dude. He, he bought like Coca Cola routes or whatever, or pe you know, roots, and you know, very successful. But he was the one guy I hung out with that didn't do drugs. Hmm. Nice. I don't know why I hung out with him. You're right. In fourth grade. In fourth. No, grade. in high school. I anyway. No, Rich. <laughs> Fucking just shooting up before kickball. And crazy. It, who doesn't steal? That's a crazy town you brought up, were brought up in. Who doesn't um, steal from, you I know. I said that. From the job. From yeah, I mean, especially. Little pilferings, all right. a little Zodiac. And I was selling them to a teacher. He was buying boxes and reselling them. Why did they have boxes of these things? They were they like this boxes, and all these Zodiac wheels came in. Yeah, I know like they 25. are. Yeah. But why and, would they have so many? It was a big. I don't know why would they have so many uh, you had to do bumper it. stickers coexist because mm. uh, people I, buy them. I was, I was the candy kid. Did you have the candy kids? Oh, that's that came in with just candy, and then I would just hike the price, make it twice as much, and people would always fucking buy their M and M's and their. You mean you would buy? I was, them the, I was the candy kid. Yeah, I would buy sort of in bulk if I could find it. Oh, you did this too, Sam? Yeah, I used to go to Costco. Because for, for some reason, my junior high, I guess they didn't have a vending machine. Yeah. So I had candy, and, and people knew I had candy. I'm like, yeah, and I would fucking double the price. I was making good money for it, a kid. It would blow people's minds because the gum said 25 cents right on the pack, but obviously you buy in bulk, it's less than 25 cents. Right. So I would sell them 25 cents, five for a dollar. Oh, no, I would and, still hike it from there. And they go, Sam, you're not making any money. I'd be like, I know, just yeah, just pick up five packs then. I'm not making a, I'm not making a cent. So you were a candy kid, too. Oh, yeah, big and, time. I, I, but then I moved on to being a bookie in high school. For real? Yeah, for the assistant basketball coach. I was, a, I was on the team. Crazy shit. You know That's the fucking football? You know the football sheets, Rich, yeah. that we all have done? He, the assistant coach was uh, the main guy. No way. And then he kind of got me almost like... He was the sheets guy? He was the sheets guy. In <clears> high school? <throat> In high school. It got ugly, man. I think I was... I'm trying. I don't even know how I got out of it, but I was in a little too deep because somehow he knew I was I was into it because I think I was getting a, a sheet from him, and then he's like he was a little scared, so he needed a middleman. No shit. I was his middleman, and there was a there was a there was a side of Harborfields High School at the time where the slow kids and all that went, but that wing also had a lot of empty shit that they didn't use anymore. So we would meet in an old fucking locker room. No fucking funny business, but you can make your fucking jokes. And we would do the whole exchange and shit. I would fucking give him the money, he would give me the sheets and all that shit. And then I and then he then he would give me the envelopes to pay off everybody. And I had to pay off one of my fucking teachers after class and the teacher knew. So the whole class I'm sitting there and he can't wait. I think he hit it's been a long time, but he hit eight for eight or nine for nine. He hit. It was a couple, it was a few thousand. Which was rare. But he hit. And he knew he hit. And he knew the kid that had the money was in his fucking class in the back room. So then I had to kind of wait, be the last kid out, and then fucking slide him his envelope. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's... And then the guy... I think I was a senior, and that's how it ended. Because I remember he was... I was making... I was making probably a couple hundred bucks a week, which was a lot of money for a high school kid. Cash. Uh, just to fucking hand them out and get them from my friends and stuff. But it started expanding way too much where, where the teachers were getting involved and stuff. Jesus. And then he uh, he was a shady dude to begin with. And then he knew I was going to Geneseo State School and a uh, SUNY school. And he wanted me to continue it up there. And that's when I was like, all right, look, this is fucked yeah, up. Yeah. I, I, I knew even in my stupid young brain that, all right, this is fucked up. I got to get the fuck gotta out of this. Got to lay off of this shit. But I remember how I fucking... I, I'm amazed, and we would meet in this like part of the fucking school that no one was using, and I was fucking scared shitless. But what happened if someone? And then I felt like I, I couldn't get out. Gonna... 
What happened if someone didn't pay? A teacher's not going to take him out and break his legs. Not sitting here like I was a mafia guy. Everyone was going to pay. It was obvious. That'd be great. Fucking imagine uh, that's in the news: a teacher's breaking students' legs for not paying on sports betting. Right. Oh shit. Yeah, the payouts were usually stupid money, dumb money. But this one time, the teacher and I don't remember what class he taught anymore, but he fucking hit, and I had to fucking pay him. Yeah, but you don't know the kids what what they were bet. You knew what they were betting from their slips. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was a couple bucks here. It was like three bucks. Maybe you're getting five bucks from your fellow student. Maybe. Maybe you're not the only guy doing this for that teacher. There was probably ten other kids in the school. You think? In in the school in the. Nah, I doubt in the school. Well, you think I went to a kind of a smaller high school. Harborfields well, was kind of small uh, at the time. Maybe other schools. I mean, if oh, he, he might have been. Yeah, he, yeah, sure. Know. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm sure he had his sheets elsewhere. I mean, yeah, to make to risk going to jail, you're not going to do it for twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah, that's true. Probably want to make some righteous bucks. I wake up one day and I'm like, what the fuck? How, how, how did this happen? I'm, huh? a, I'm part of a gambling <laughs> ring. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I, I was betting one week. I bet on basketball. College basketball, one week. Isn't that like a terrible bet? I lost no. betting on basketball. Yeah, uh, the point in spread. any way, shape, or form. The point yeah. spread is really tough yeah. to figure out. Yeah. I lost twelve out of fourteen games. That's almost impossible. Right. That's you can harder flip to a do. coin and do better. Yes. Oh, they yes. figured out that point spread. I think the best bet is you can take Indiana, but you got to give thirty-seven yeah. points. No, college football is the best to win. Cause hey, those just teams don't forget kill. about the fourteen-point spread. Right. Exactly. What? what? But they figured out with college basketball that was a tough one. Yeah, I used to. I used college to football was bit. good to bet on. I think so. Yeah, because they used would to be teams. Be. They would. They would want to raise. They would want to pump up the score for standings. And the over under. Oh, God, I used to. We gotta stop talking about this. This is your addiction. Uh I gotta shut up. Yeah, I, Rich I don't want to be the one that gives Rich the itch. Rich to go is back just into that bat, 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 bat. This guy sold McDonald's at school. What? He would just go and get what bulk burgers, a whole bunch of them, and that's can a I go take getter. Let's take this. Sure, call. he's a go getter. Let's say hi to Al in Maryland. Yeah, Al. Al. <laughs> Al. Okay. Hey, guys, Rich. hey I uh, I got my driver's license in the mid seventies uh, when there was not even gas rationing. I worked at McDonald's. They let us take leftover food home, and the pies transported pretty well. I started giving them away, and then people were standing in line, so I uh, started cooking a, little, a few extra pies every night and uh, made a tidy uh, living, keeping my gas tank full back in those days. I was the pie guy at lunchtime. Pretty popular. Chicks loved it. <laughs> chicks lo- he just said chicks, chicks loved it. Chicks loved it, so it's worth it. Yeah. So it's cool, yeah. man. Yeah, I've told I'm the story so- before about the, having the Apollo air conditioning van. Thanks, and- uh, no money, and I had the the credit card for the gasoline for the van, and there was a Texaco station where the guy had a lobster boat also and would sell the lobsters out of the gas station. So I'd pull up half a tank of gas, the rest lobsters, <laughs> pay for it on the company credit card. Nice. Go home, boil them up. I'm broke. We're eating lobster tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I used to sell meat and seafood out of trucks. There was a company we used to drive around Who selling meat. buy that? It was the best stuff. It was gourmet yeah. food, and uh, gourmet shit. Just dip out of each box. You know, yeah. One or two crabs. You gotta take your taste. There. A little skim. You know, it was a little a real for the effort. It, it, little like, they were big back in the day. A little all taste, these companies. Little, literally. You, I understand a little taste. Sure. Don't you remember the little Toyota trucks picking, pulling up and trying to sell you meat and seafood? Didn't they have that mm, Long Island? My, I don't remember those. I, what, a fond memory. I was uh, Washington Drive School, so grammar school, you know, kindergarten through six. And I figured out that uh, uh, these are all stories we've told, I guess. Huh? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, the, get, the, the, the lunchroom, they would make those fucking peanut butter. My thing was peanut butter cookies back then. And they would put them outside to cool. And so oh, I figured out God. if you go around the entire school, there's the trays of cookies. Just fucking. Oh, wow. And I got away with it for a long time. I would just take a couple every other fucking day. Snag them. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember it being where it wasn't as easy as just going in. You had to kind of like, you know, make some moves to get into that area. But I always did and kind of reached around and grabbed them. It was so easy to steal cookies. You would just hold them under the tray as you're bringing your tray. Right. You would put, oh, uh, good you would move. Cookies under your tray. I used to steal them all the time. Oh. I grew up. Uh, I didn't get hot lunch. Oh, well, we Uh-oh. only got hot lunch because we had meal tickets. Well, we got yeah, to a point. free lunch thing. Tickets. Did any kid ever pay for fucking lunch? Hot lunch. I it s- seemed like everyone had that fucking welfare thing. 
My my mom's uh, lunches started getting really shitty. The ones we had to bring to school. So there was. I finally would just throw it every day and then get a nice hot lunch every day yeah. on the little change I was making from being the candy, the, <laughs> the candy, candy boy, the candy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I treated myself to a hot Sad lunch, state a, of nice, affairs. a nice piece of square pizza. In California, behind Vaughn's supermarket, yeah, there was uh, where they used to keep the depositable bottles, and people would bring it in, and they'd they put it, but it was a big locked cage, and uh, we figured out how to squeeze in between uh, the uh, chain link fence and the pole, right. or climb over the top one day, and and uh, then I just offload them to my brother, and we'd go right back around. And bring them in and no get kidding. money. Yeah. But you couldn't take too much because then they would be on to you. Yeah, yeah. You had to know what it kind was, of taste. It was just to enough take. for a box of ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, you had to just take a little taste so no one knows. <laughs> of my ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> just skim off the top just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get greedy. A little bit. Don't get greedy. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, you got to do we what were, you got to do, you know? Right. We sent my, when we were in like, I don't know, seven. No, we were in like fifth grade. And my brother and his friend were like in third grade, and we sent him into the drugstore. We said, uh, "There's two of them." We said, "Would you ever one of you two steal the most for us?" Jesus, <laughs> like, You're making a little gang. Yeah, we said, "Well, you know, we'll let you keep what you get." Uh huh. And so my brother, little, and this other guy, you know, he had two legs in, and he. Uh, they went in stealing, and they got caught. Oh, <laughs> they, they rat they you did. out? I, we were gone. I left them there. Oh, <laughs> little man. Little thief. I don't want anything to do with a thief. Probably ratted you, though. <laughs> they made us. <laughs> <laughs> the crying. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's a, a person alive uh, around our age that hadn't, hadn't had to sit in a back room of a supermarket oh. or some store after getting caught. But a lot yeah. of times they didn't. They didn't really. Did, they didn't really involve the police. Nah, they didn't want. They to just do wanted that. to scare the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to fuck with you a little bit. I think mine was what was it? Wallbaums in Greenlawn? That supermarket? Yeah, yeah. I think it was Wallbaums. We got we got caught stealing some over there shit. by Harmon Pizza. And then we were in the back room. This asshole that was probably only a few years older than us, scolding us, yeah. scaring the shit out of us. <laughs> it worked though. I was I was done. I'm like, ah, huh, your life of that? crime was over. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't need some asshole yelling at me. So I'm trying to grab us. I don't even remember back then. Yeah, Harmon Drugs and Harmon Pizza were in the uh, Sun Up Pizza, and Harmon Drugs were by the uh, Wallbaum's Shopping Center Green there in Greenlawn. Okay. Yeah, that was where the pizza place we always used to go to. Yeah. Well, me and Aunt lived in the same neighborhood, didn't know each other. Yeah. So weird. It was like, and yeah. Then, and then me. One, one town's a. One town, two towns away. Yeah. Same experiences, so weird. And then we meet years later. We broke into a house and. Oh, jeez. When we were. <laughs> See? <laughs> I, that's my line. Uh, this is what I like about uh, me and you. Our stories are. Pretty innocent, innocent Long Island <laughs> shit. And a lot of people can relate. Well, the time I broke in a house and, and, I, and I clocked the old lady over the head with a fucking yes. wrench. So, you know, <laughs> right, like, so, you know, the mom was there, so we raped the shit out of her. <laughs> and then, you know, just kids, though. Look, we had to cover our tracks, so we burned the house yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, we burned the house just down. Just relating to what you guys were talking about. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus So Rick's then we, uh, it was a short, I, I think, yeah, yeah, a short shootout with the cops. Then we grabbed <laughs> right. the car that we stole. Right. <laughs> uh, we, uh, <laughs> well, we did... <laughs> Nah, I did the male thing for a little while, but that's like that's oh, crazy. And shit. you went to girls. <laughs> 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 what well, were you doing with mail? Uh, oh, were you stealing checks? Uh, no, not that bad. Christmas <laughs> cards with money in them. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. You, you always knew which ones had the money in it. Oh yeah, well the Christmas cards. That was feel, very, yeah. very short lived. That that was fucking. Now you're getting crazy. Yeah. Well, how about the because I had a I had a paper route, so I was like, huh. Yeah. But I wouldn't take it from the houses that I was del delivering papers to. <laughs> there were all those assholes that didn't want the paper. Right. <laughs> so, it, uh, you know, and everyone knew I should be in the neighborhood, so they wouldn't question anything. No suspicion. That was short-lived. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to go on record. That one was really short-lived. That was like, this is nuts. How about the This is crazy. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah. How about the people... How about they send you... you no, what you about go, the house you broke into? Oh, right, Rich. Rich. Yeah. Well, when we broke, like, they used to let us use the trampoline. We'd get off the bus and get on the trampoline and play in their backyard. Because they had a big fucking mansion. And then I think, I don't know, it was me and Alvin or me or Stanley. 
Stanley, 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 and we're walking around, and you know, and then we I said, "Fuck it, let's just get some meat." We went in the kitchen. And then <laughs> You're one of those to, thieves. We didn't know what to really steal. You know, we saw some cool Hot Wheels and shit, but you know, we weren't old enough to go oh, yeah. look for jewelry, jewelry or, or something. So or, we, or you wouldn't even know. The thing is, you wouldn't know where to off it. Yeah, we wouldn't. We no weren't kids old don't enough. have fences. We were only in sixth and seventh grade. Yeah. You know, we're just doing our first B and E. So where do you find a you know, first B and E? <laughs> you know, I so I think we ended up making sandwiches house. and uh, fuck that. We made some sandwiches. No and way. You stole sandwiches then. We made sandwiches, and then I think there was a, a maid was there and sauce or something. So we oh, ran, boy. and you know. It's a fucking, you know, I mean, it was kind of mean because they did let us use the trampoline. But you would Very think mean. if they're letting us use the trampoline, they wouldn't have refreshments out there for us. <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> you would think. Yeah. I'll tell you the scam that we, I, I don't know what, who, these greeting card companies and flower seeds that they wanted you to sell. Do they, Oof. like, like you would. They would send you this whole big kit. I remember the you, flower seed one. I didn't yeah. do it, but I remember it. Yeah. Did they really think they were going to get their money? What the fuck? Who sends <laughs> You were supposed what? to sell them and then send them the money? You know, what's, that's, what kind of fucking dealers <laughs> what, what, are they? What did you get out of it? Like, what were you supposed to get out of I it? I don't I got everything out of it. Everything <laughs> yeah, no, I shit. sold, I got out of it. Like, they were supposed to take their cut? <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. Scam. Send it up to them. They send the flower seed guy to come and fucking... Take a few teeth out. Well, that's that's what's wrong with the school system. You know, they have these. They tell little kids don't talk to strangers, and you know, you you raise your kids that way. Don't go. But all these schools have these kids sending selling candy and going, you know, going fucking door to door, or yeah, cookies yeah. or this and that. You know, buy. Yeah, come on in. You know, mm. uh, it's just I don't want my kids selling shit for your school. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, you get your fucking taxes from me. Why should my kid be out selling for your fucked up school? Jesus. You know what I mean? It's, just, well, it, 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 it's uh, yeah, yeah. I've already put in my share. Don't pimp my fucking kid out. Yeah, sell whoever sells the most. Bullshit. You know, and they get a fucking prize or award. Go fuck yourself. You gotta take a break. Um, yeah. We got the uh, British Open on. Yeah. And Phil Mickelson's uh, minus three. He's on 18. Marco Muir is uh, leading at minus six after nine holes. Holy fuck. Zach Johnson minus five after 15. But more importantly, they just showed Rory McElroy. Rich? Rich is not going to He's plus seven. He's having a meltdown. Oh, this kid. Rory. What happened? What? He couldn't take the pressure of everyone thinking he was so good? He's, he stinks now. He's he's doing a fucking uh, Duval or something, right? He's doing a fucking Duval. That fucking that big that endorsement deal probably fucked his head up. Oh, Switching man. clubs and doing all this and all that pressure. Plus seven, first round of the British Open. He's he, he's, uh, he doesn't have a shot. If he already. doesn't make the fucking cut in the British Open, he's, not, he's from, I don't think he has a chance at that. At plus seven. All right, uh, Rich Voss is at Levity Live this weekend. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a great, great club. Where is it again? Palisades Na Mall? Yeah, Nyack. In Nyack? Go uh, check out Rich Voss this weekend. Please do that. He's a very, very funny man. And uh, we'll be back. The Opie and Anthony Show on Sirius XM. This is The Opie and Anthony Show. You might have heard us uh, say what an idiot during Anthony's live read. I wasn't talking about Anthony. We're watching the British Open, and of course, Phil Mickelson fucking, fucking misses an easy putt on the 18th hole. So frustrating to watch. Golf fans know that. Why, well, you're a big fan of his? Uh, my father-in-law, that's his guy. My guy's kind of Tiger Woods. I, no no I stretch there, I understand, name. but... What? I keep hearing Tiger Woods' his name. Do you think he has a chance to win this thing? He's the uh, favorite. He's always the favorite. I know. I don't know. He's I won four it. tournaments this year. He's already won four. It's in his head, though. The majors, he can't figure out. Uh, um, he hasn't won a major in how many years now? It's been a long time. Uh, six or... I think five-ish. Five Let's say hi to Joe DeRosa. Joe! Hey, Joe. Hi, guys. All right, I know. Hey. I know. That's... I know. You're a little... <laughs> I, I get it. But let what? me tell you this much, Joe. You're a little... 
You're a little wishy-washy on the phone because you, you think we're going to attack you. How? No, I'm not, no, I'm not wishy-washy. Somebody texted me and said, you're getting killed on the show right now because huh. of your, your tattoo. And I started laughing. It's like, it's like being a part of the show sometimes, it's like you're a doctor on call. Like you're just trying to sleep, and then your buzzer starts going off, going, you're getting trashed. <laughs> you got to call in. Uh, uh, uh. The test, I'm going to get it covered. I know I made a mistake. I, I Joe, but I, it's not really coming from me. Anthony is amazed by, we we, uh, we filled him in because he wasn't here the other day. Right. And, and Joe, I'm, I, as you know, I'm a big uh, Joe DeRosa fan. And, and you know, even the letters, if that's what you like, if that's personal, there's nothing wrong with it. But the cigarette mics microphone, oh. <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking... The the framing and the letter work, like what the fuck is that a microphone and is that a microphone or a cigarette? What is that? That you know, because we're all trying to guess. Uh, oh no, well, we know because I mean, he told it's us. Not, it's not done yet, Rich. I'm oh. Gonna get... oh, now he's going oh, with the no. it's not done yet oh, approach. No. Rich, Rich, I still have to get blue clouds put all around. This Listen, I, I, oh, let me. Oh, shit. Look at, that's oh, here's the visual okay here, here, here's here's what you could do you could go after my tattoo but this is a work of art okay yours and i i liked when you had the idea yours looks like some epileptic wrote those fucking letters all oh, right okay. i'm just saying it's it's not a bad it's idea not very nice it's not inclusive. a no it's not a bad idea it's the work i'm looking at the work look the work your tattoo, tattoo is not a work of art rich it, it the guy, it's a good it, tattoo yeah it's a good <laughs> tattoo it's this? not a work of art it's it's a work of art. It's nah, a it's a girl. good tattoo. Okay, it's a good tattoo. I've seen better yeah. pinup uh, tattoos. This, but no, no one has. But it's not. A, I wouldn't put it in the bad tattoo category. No, not I at all. Rather, I would rather have actual pins stuck into my arm than that. Pin you up did, you pin. did when you got that tattoo <laughs> oh. with fucking Indian ink on the end of them. <laughs> Indian ink. I know, but I think I might have said filmed no. instead of filled. No. Isn't it so. India ink? Oh. Yeah. Indian. Well, oh, yes, Joe. Okay. You said India. you said you said Anthony. What did Anthony? Anthony. Well, he's, well, he's Rich. Rich talked when Opie, Opie was going to tell me what you said. All right. Well, here's the deal. You know, when I carry on, you're like, oh, there's Opie carrying on. But when Ant, you know, comments about something, it's got to hurt a little more. And he's pretty <laughs> much amazed by what you have on your arm. <laughs> He can't believe it. He's in the I can't believe it yeah. category. Joe, when, when you're at the supermarket and your arm slips by the register, do you have to pay an extra four dollars? <laughs> Joe, I'm just wondering. Like I, I understand the concept of it and everything, and, and initially when you got it and everything, but why just such stark block letters and not like some wonderful uh, uh, like, what is it, cursive writing or, or some calligraphy well, the, or something? The, the, yeah, there's, the, there's two K's in it's your so, tattoo, and they don't even, the K's don't even match up. No. I know. This, uh, and my only defense is you've seen the way I drink. <laughs> oh, defense. my God. No, you're too old to be the drunk guy that got a tattoo. If that was the case, then you would have the leprechaun on your arm, the no, fighting Irish true. guy. I wasn't drunk. You just lost the leprechaun I, people. I, I don't know if I was oh, you. clear as headspace is all I'm saying. Oh. Uh, you know, maybe there's a little bit of a fun. Did you get the idea for this tattoo from an oak tree? <laughs> I, <laughs> this would literally look better if I just put my arm onto the grill at Anthony's. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like that. <laughs> oh, Joe, I, I'm oh. just... Are, are, you, are you very unhappy with this thing now? I, you know what it is? It's it's not the artist's fault. It's I told him to do it. He did. You exactly can't use the word artist. <laughs> <laughs> Why this guy's an artist who did me? You can't uh, say artist. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sure the guy's gonna be nah, terrific someday. I'm gonna take you. But he practiced on your arm. On the air I showed Sam because Sam was saying the same thing, and I showed him some of the other stuff the other guys done, and the guy was, and Sam was like, "My God, he does great stuff!" Like. He goes, you really, like, made him do that. It's not his fault. And did, I, it's, it's true. It's like, this is what I asked him to do, and he was kind enough to uh, accommodate. Did he, pay you ba did he pay you back with the tattoo when you picked him up the other day from prison? And, and he goes, you know what, let me do a tattoo. Now, now Joe, are you doing anything That's else with you. this to try to fix it? Huh? 
It's a bummer. Uh, well, I'm holding a cigarette right now. I want to take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah what, I mean, are, are there are there reg- regrets? Yeah, I mean, I, I had a few. I, <laughs> I I just didn't think it through. I'm a very uh, impulsive person with these things, and it's a bad idea. Tattoos are bad to be impulsive with. So at, at least your know. Ghostbuster uh, tattoo looks pretty good. I know you're not serious, Opie. Or Ghostbusters. I, uh, I didn't see the Ghostbuster one. Yet. It's it's good. It looks just like uh, you know see, the symbol. The so he did that one right. The only way my tattoos would be worse is if I got a tattoo of tattoo from Fantasy Island on my arm. That's the only way these things could look any stupider. What did he say? If you got a tattoo, nothing. Forget it. Forget it. Forget uh, it. Now he's not he, in here. He, he, he even worked on his defense before he called. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And, and he goes, maybe I'll use this one. Uh, and, and he thought he could slip it in. Uh, so that just got crossed off the defense paper. Uh, I apologize. I don't know what to do. What do you I'm going to tell you what to do. Listen to me, because I'm older. I got fucking nice tattoos. I got pieces of works of art. I'm going to take you to a guy at, uh, in, in Jersey, Flemington. Oh, here he goes. I'm not Holy plugging shit. the guy. I'm not plugging him. I'm helping. That's two. That's uh, more uh, that's than two. two I think. Yes. Well, I can't do it this week because I'm at Levity. Oh but, my God. Uh, Levity Live. Uh, Let me know, see your tattoo. It, whether you like it or not, it's good work. That's a good tattoo. Let me see again. And not only that, this one he did up here, he fixed yesterday. He turned it around. He completely turned the roses around. I'm like, when, mm-hmm. when you see these, Joe, the new stuff he did yesterday, I'm just saying because he's been I around. I don't like the blue clouds. They're not clouds. They're, 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 they're what do you call it? They're, all, they're not like supposed to be clouds in the sky. They're tattoo clouds to bring out the girl. If the girl was just standing there alone, it would look ridiculous. Now, this you're is right, just to bring... With, those, with that cotton candy swirl around. <laughs> but see, the difference between the cotton candy and your tattoo is, okay, I'm not going to get beat up walking through Harlem. Oh, neither are you, because you put a cigarette around it now. Uh, okay. Hey, no, this is a Newport. Uh, uh, Jesus. Uh, I don't know. Here's the thing, Rich. Joe, you're getting some good lines in, but you're going to lose the tattoo battle. I have to <laughs> have to I, tell you. I, I know. Look, I don't know what to do because and Rich got that. Rich, you got that one cover up on that TV show, and don't, it looks good. No, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. It's redone. Now it looks like it's supposed to. You'll see it. I'll show you. Now it was redone yesterday because what was done on that show was pretty much not satisfactory you'll see it now because this guy redid it yesterday it was better than it was though yeah but you i'm telling you this guy i did this yesterday it doesn't he this guy he it didn't even bleed All right I'm All right, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering what Joe can do. Joe's tattoo so bad, my the... arm bled when they did his tattoo. <laughs> I wonder if they. Get, uh, I think they... Joe needs to give up on the George Carlin thing first of all. Yeah, yeah. Stop trying to fix it. Yeah, let's give up on the George Carlin quote that he said to you and probably thousands of others, <laughs> oh. and let's let's just turn it into something completely different. Well, here's oh, here's here's the thing that I don't where I'm stuck. This is the problem. Is I actually thought Rich's. Rose thing looked good initially. I didn't think it looked bad. But the problem is, is I don't. That's the only thing you could do to cover something up is get like a giant flower. No, that's not true. There's a million things he can cover that up with. I'm telling you, there's a million things. The rose is the big cover up flower. Joe's right. right? Yeah. Yeah, But your tattoo isn't that big. Your tattoo could be covered up with. You could even put a ship where you'll, you're going to be ended up working anyhow. So if you want to do something that has meaning, put like a little, you know, put a like cruise carnival, ship cruise something. ship, yeah, yeah. and then have you on top waving, you know, goodbye. And uh, maybe you could borrow some of your blue fluffy uh, clouds yeah. to put above the fucking cruise ship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you know it, what? It I doesn't... can get this covered up today in three minutes. Rich, I'll come over to the studio and have you talk over it. Uh, oh. Oh. Nothing with spit, nothing. Come on, really? Uh, well, wow. that's, that's, that's what would that? Uh, you know, this isn't personal attacks. You don't have to go after me. I'm here to help you. I know. I thought it was just uh, forget. You it. know, you can't. You, that's your problem. You don't like to. You don't know when people.
care and want to help Joe DeRosa because there's so much to work on you with. I mean, not, it, it goes past the tattoo. I mean, we don't even want to get into the whole mental and all that shit. That's that's later. Let's fix the easy stuff first, and then we'll get. Maybe we will work on the posture and then go to the fucking mind. Joe, yeah, Joe. Uh, when, when he put the mic around the letters, right? Yeah. Were you happy with that? It was my idea. I thought it was yeah, my yeah, idea. no, I know. A, a mic would have, though that would have been a good idea, but whatever this guy put there, were you happy with that as a representation of a, a microphone? And shouldn't Andy. there have been a little space between the letters and the microphone? And I, now since, that bleeds into the new design. Since so. when do you use a cordless mic? <laughs> like the end? Should there be a space at the end of the end before the cigarette yes. fucking part starts? It literally, it literally looks like a lavalier microphone. <laughs> it's, <laughs> why? He couldn't even do that right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like the top of the T's are now the border of the cigarette. Just put, shouldn't there have been some separation? In there, just put just put red red in there in a string and make it a tampon because you're a cunt for putting that on your arm. <laughs> Here's this is the this is the problem is it, I don't even I show this to Sam and I, I like Opie and Anthony I, I don't even want to show you guys what he proposed to do because it's I gotta beautiful. Say he showed me this amazing design around it, and I was like, no, no, it's too much, man. Let's streamline it. Let's make it simple. And then I came up with this idea, and he was even like, well, don't you want me to make it like more like a, like a like an actual mic? And I was like, no, no, man, keep it abstract. <laughs> oh, no, it was, come on. I made an a idiot. Mistake. Oh. I made a mistake. No, it's not a big deal. It could be fixed. I don't know. It's There's so much black ink. It's not. So yeah, yeah. That's the other problem. It's just dark it could be ink. fixed it could be fixed. no shading nothing the lettering isn't even nice oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, just, no. it's like a branding iron lettering <laughs> yeah i, I thought that would look cool i thought that would look cool circle k it. ranch <laughs> but who makes k's like that yeah <laughs> The I've been Ku living Klux in Klan. stupid Brooklyn for three months, and I, I was like, look at everybody expressing themselves. Oh, there. God. <laughs> oh, they must love you. <laughs> Joe is easily influenced. <laughs> I really am. It's awful. I like, it's the, awful. I, I like the idea. I'm surprised. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I it's a great idea from a great comic. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. <laughs> Where's the guy in Jersey? When can we go? I want to get it done. This thing's still scabbed over. I want to get it done now. I'm no, scared. you got to wait till it heals, and and I'm, I'll take. I'll. That's we'll the other hook it thing. Up. Like he's not willing to let it scab, no, and then no. think about it and make an appointment. And then maybe like even if it takes eight months, do it then. Like he's like, no, oh, okay, we got to go to a tattoo place now and just find somebody. They'll just cover it with something. No, you can't cover it when it's scabbing. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. Yeah, no, you. I know. He just <laughs> wants to just. Think of something off the top of his head again and just put it on. Like, that's never news, failed him before. Man. The, well, good, the good news, Joe, we'll be wearing long sleeves in no time, so. <laughs> oh. Sam, Winter's right around, around the corner. <laughs> and then you'll be okay for a few months. <laughs> the reason I don't want to wait eight months, Sam, is because it's another eight months of trashing. <laughs> Get it done with. That's true. When do you but I think you're going to do something, and you're going to panic. Do so It's just going to make it worse, I think. You fuck so, up under pressure. Yeah. yeah. You really do. <laughs> you really I did. Do. I swear, guys, I'm not exaggerating, guys. I swear to God, last night I had a dream. That as this was healing, like the scabs came off, and then all, the, and as the scabs came off, the tattoo disappeared. And I remember being so happy. In the <laughs> I, I was happy. I had. I, it's weird because I had a dream that you disappeared. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that's really not nice. Shut up, poor guy. Mother look Teresa, at his, look at his arm. You really gotta kick nice. him when he's down. <laughs> that's what this is. Poor guy. No, you gotta kick him in the nuts. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> I gotta go get a job at a machinery today and hope for the best. <laughs> you mean at a machine <laughs> shop? Yeah, that it just takes my arm right off. So All right. Well, oh, we're going to get it fixed, I promise you. This is my goal now. I'm taking you under my wings. I'm not going to be like Kevin Hart to Keith. I'm going to be Rich Foss to Joe DeRosa. Okay? Oh, great. All right. All right, Joe. Let's go out to Jersey and fix it. Yeah, we're gonna fix it. Good luck. All right. That's that looks like a tough cover up. 
Come on. I'm sorry. I watched oh, those. I watched those shows, and it, it, the the way the lines are, the black ink, it just. There's not going to be many options. And this You're going to have to make it a lot bigger to cover it up, right, and then right. that's going to look weird on you. I promise you. This little simple God thing damn. is going to turn into an entire forearm piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, geez. Hey, remember, I could have just jumped in your pool and ruined it. Remember, I was like, I can't I know. Go I can't go in the pool. The, <laughs> the chlorine. <laughs> I'm like, it's a saltwater pool. <laughs> and it's a shitty Jump tattoo. In. Who and cares? it's a sucky tattoo. Yeah, that, 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 that right, fucking tat would be much better off in the skimmer. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's going to get better in two seconds here. Just put them on hold. Oh, oh sorry. All right, thank you. Uh, Colin Quinn, oh. everyone. There he is. I don't know if you... Oh, God. Have you been listening to the show, or do I have to fill you in? I know what's going on. Okay. His voice is only happy because DeRosa's tattoo took all the pressure of his awful, destroyed his religion tattoo when he got his Star of David. Okay. Oh, Rich. Right. I agree. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, the joke goes, I agree. Wait, okay, <laughs> Colin, you had time to prepare. That's what you're coming on with. Get, let, okay, <laughs> listen, we're not gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be as, as sweet as we can. We're not gonna bring up Grown Ups Two. Let's do tattoos now. We'll do oh. Grown Ups Two next week. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> That, that whole cameo should have been tattooed. But go ahead. What were you saying about uh, Joe DeRosa's tattooed tattoo? Tattooed or covered up, maybe, or something? No, all right. It almost worked. He was fucking... Colin was brilliant. I'm telling you, he did this Dairy Queen scene. It was fucking... Brilliant. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I'm so, it Like, if he doesn't win an Oscar... <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if he doesn't get the next Joe DeRosa short from that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, man, I was in one of those. I always saw this phone call go, yeah, what happened to Joe's burgeoning film director career from that, Joe? He was swaggering around, chest out, proud as a peacock, and nothing. Just yeah, yelling and screaming, ruining relationships. Yeah. We thought at least in the end it would you know, lead to something, Joe. Uh, yeah. Well, a film's only as good as its cast. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> saw that coming. Oh. <laughs> saw that coming. A, I think we should make a film about Joe getting his tattoo. And what do you... What, I'm, I'm curious about the tattoo for one thing. What do you think it was going to bring you? <laughs> Old George Carlin type fucking power? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd at least a creep. Kelly Carlin. Hey, why do you tattoo a big S on your chest, Joe? <laughs> oh. Rick. Richard's the only guy that can add extra S's to the letter S. Oh, you got you Oh, you. Oh, that was a good one. That's a knockout <laughs> punch. <laughs> You're right. Did George, George Collin ever find out about the tattoo? No, nah, he he died before I got it. Oh. He would have. He would have fucking got it tattooed in order of protection on his fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, to bring you up to speed, so it's what? Uh, keep kicking them in the nuts. Something George Carlin said to Joe Rosa on a phone as uh, Joe's calling his, his, his buddy's uh, college radio show, by the way. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. even live. I and, thought it was and live. And he thought it was a special moment he had with him and Mr. Carlin. Then it turns out our own E Rock had a headshot signed by George Carlin and it said, kick them in the nuts. But you know what? <laughs> So basically, uh, George Carlin it. said this to everybody. But, it wasn't a special you know, moment. But go beyond that. That's not that. Joe called in to go, hey, Mr. Carlin, I'm also a comic, too, starting yeah. out. Any advice? And that's, what, yeah, kick him in the nuts, kid. Right. You know, he didn't think the kid was going to go out and brand his arm like that. Jesus. Once again, that was the part we all knew two weeks ago. Thanks, Rich. <laughs> huh? The Ewok thing is new information. We've been Thank you. I appreciate you. Months, you stupid idiot. I'm so <laughs> Thanks for By acknowledging way, I brought something new to the same story. Yeah. Did sorry. you see Rich Voss's new tattoo? He's got a pinup girl on his forearm now. I know. I heard about that. You, you heard about it. You were sitting right next to it after the premiere. I guess your mind was on other things, like how you're going to save your career. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, Jesus. Jesus. He's, a oh, big, boy. he's in, in a big Hollywood motion picture. It did 40, and, that's, and that's not good enough I'm, for you fucking people. $41 million. Dollars. I'm only laughing because Joe and Rich, while the rest of us are living the high life in the industry in Montreal, 
Joe and Rich are going to be at various shit gigs. <laughs> I'm going to be at Montreal, Colin. Oh, oh you are? shit. Oh, yeah? Just lost by himself. <laughs> you know what? I was just going to come to your defense and attack Rich, and you'd get it on me. <laughs> okay, now. I, I, well, but I'll say it yeah. anyway. You know, Rich, leave Colin alone, all right? He, he's doing the Thank acting you. work he can get. Not all of us have a wife that'll put us in her movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. If Boris um, wasn't involved, that movie would have been on fucking HBO and Showtime. And <laughs> <laughs> You're cursed. Hopefully, hopefully not like your special. <laughs> uh, I, you know, yeah. when you guys are in Montreal, uh, oh yeah, what am I? I'll be a uh, uh, script consulting, but uh, and you <laughs> guys will all be up there. I like the fact that that was your big secret, and now suddenly you're throwing that fucking credit. Two weeks ago, it's like, don't, I'm not supposed to talk. And now you're on the way. I'll be script consultant. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Know. They are creep. And I'll tell you what, every time you walk in the room, like at that premiere when you walked in the room with Bonnie, yeah. it reminded me of fucking Star 80. I swear to God. <laughs> 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 and when you walked in, you reminded me of Gary Busey. <laughs> Nothing. Ooh, yeah. right, I gotta go. Oh, on. Hard to Why did you try? One. Why? I, hard to follow that. Get Colin story, the fucking John. stage for I, a Colin moment. Colin kills. Yeah. You can't. You know when he's on fire. I was on fire the other night. He kills. You can't beat Colin. It was. It was good when it was just me and Derosa. You know. But then you know, fuck. <laughs> and that Gary Busey thing really fucking hurt. By the way. <laughs> 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 oh no! no. Oh, shit. I'll be oh, just spilled. Oh, <laughs> he just spilled all his drink on his on his on his body, and it oh, looks no. better than Derosa's tattoo. Oh, shit. I, think, I think we're gonna get this tattooed. What, what is that? A big oh, vegetable it's juice? Fucking beets and carrots. And it went ev fucking... every drop of it is out it of the like cup. Just, it looks like I just puked on myself. And it was a heap and help, and that's a big cup. Because I found some kind of fucking look what I found in it. So it's creepy. Yeah, look, what is uh, that? I don't know. Good thing you didn't drink it. Oh, hey, hey, you guys, uh, what are you doing later? After I'm done with uh, the movie today, I'm staying in New York. We could all hang out. Oh, after I'm Why done with the movie. See what he did there? He doesn't care. He doesn't want to hang out with you guys. He figured out figured that was a great way to plug the fact that he's... No, uh, I'm staying. I, I got a hotel downtown by Colin. I mean, not that far downtown. Where? I'm not, uh, uh, not going to say it on the air. In Soho. Oh, yeah, you, know. <laughs> you, think you think I'm going to tell these animals where I'm staying? Uh, well, why? You think you're going to have a Justin Bieber moment? No, oh, I'm going to have yeah. all the girls going to be hanging out your ho hanging outside your right, hotel. First of all, don't act like you have Wait, girls listening. I'm going to have animals calling at three in the morning if I told what hotel I was in. <laughs> what kind of shit hotel are you staying in that somebody can just call and go, Rich Voss, please, <laughs> <laughs> right through to your room? Any like, hotel no, you call and ask. Hotel, you just answered the question right there. The kind of shit hotel we can call up and make the boys to stay in there. <laughs> Rich, what are you doing on this movie? Uh, oh, Jesus. Why would you play into his hands? Nothing. I'm just... I'm not. I'm not. I was trying to... I was trying to... I just wanted to hear... He's diverting uh, attention. Again. Yeah, all right. He's trying to divert what attention. What are you doing attention. Not, it's, 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 it's not important. Yeah, it's not important. He what told us he's pumping up uh, Chris Rock's lines. I am not. I'm oh. a script consultant. Uh, you told you us you're pumping up some. Oh, yeah. You love saying that. It's a fr oh. <laughs> you, love saying the word, you love saying the word consultant because you, you, you feel like everyone's like, oh, I guess he is kind of intelligent. By the way, consultant means we don't feel like paying writer's wages. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much is your flight to Montreal? I don't know. How do I know? Because you're paying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Joe's flying, himself. Joe's flying himself up and schmooze to the industry. Is that what's going on? No, he's no. No, he's going Joe's up. He's not invited to Montreal. No, he is. He's carpooling with Big J and Metzger. <laughs> <laughs> they're renting a car. and <laughs> Are they really? Yeah, him, no. Metzger, and, and, no. and Dan Soda. They're all driving up. And they're having. They're gonna, uh, I think Joe's going to make the sandwiches. And oh. uh, you should be. Hey, you should actually be up there because you've got what you know. Canadians love that like '70s hockey player, fucking spray tan, <laughs> kind of half a mullet look. 
<laughs> yeah, that deserves that deserves a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope. Get everything uh, cleaned up over there. Wow, ah, kind of. We might go off the air because this thing is bad. Listen, I got to run. These I got to lift this thing up. All right, guys. These guys are bumming later. me out. All right, Colin. What do you right, What do you Colin. got going on? What's the big one? The, bi well, the big. The one-man show, Unconstitutional? I'm still, yeah, I'm still harassing people with Unconstitutional, believe it or not. It's going well? And, uh, yeah, it's going quite lovely. Quite awesome. lovely. It's a great, great show, man. It's oh, at the it's Cherry... It's selling like hotcakes. What is it? The Cherry... I forget hotcakes. the... Cherry... Cherry Lane. Yeah, okay, it's, Cherry Lane it's, Theater. It says Cherry's Jubilee. Yeah. Jubilee, of course. Seriously, it's a great show, man. It's Aren't a, you putting amazing. it up in one of Al Martin's rooms? Yes, I am right after this, actually. <laughs> These guys I are going inside. It. I really want to see it. And Joe, we'll <laughs> see you in Montreal next week, right? The whole world's yeah, going to Montreal, Gotham, but I'm me. I'm in Gotham Friday and Saturday night. If anybody's around. All right. How about Joe's? How about Joe's half-assed desultory? I really want to see it. No, I, I really, because you know what? Take a fucking acting class and say, I really want to see it. Fucking Colin, creep. I swear to God. Shut up, Joe. I was afraid of <laughs> <to> Joe's <laughs> enthusiasm. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right, you wacky guys. Levity right, this weekend. Guys. All right, thanks, guys. Colin Quinn and Joe DeRosa on the phone. Fucking and uh, he's too funny. You can't. He's fucking, quick, dude. He's the quickest, funniest Holy human being fuck. on the planet. Yeah, I love Colin. And Rich is going to be at Levity Live. Fucking mind. Yes. Uh, Listen to my wife Saturday, hates me. Oh. And my hate. My wife hates me on Riotcast, a fine podcast. Absolutely. Oh, shit. You guys are always in the top fucking ten. Oh we? well. Yeah, it's a big deal, that podcast. We got uh, our podcast, number 10, came out yesterday. No. Oh, yeah, the 10th one? Yep, Stalker Patty, Mousetraps, and uh, we threw a bunch of porno on the sidewalks, and then from above we broadcast as people were picking up. Picking Is your up. podcast like the best of? You, uh, you, yeah, yeah. 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 No one People are bitching it? about that. No one. Why? It's extra stuff of you that you can listen well, to. Well, it's stuff missed. that we just can't get to as much these days, because we got a, we got a, like eight years of um, material now. And it's also the for people that don't get the uh, channel. Right. You yeah, know. what the fuck? Who would But they're bitching. They're like, it's not a podcast because you're playing, you know, old stuff. Welcome. We're playing old stuff. Oh, Welcome. Brother. It's going very well, and I appreciate everyone yeah. that is uh, downloading it and Top. spreading the word that we're now in the podcast world as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Oh, by the way, uh, hitting the theaters everywhere this Friday. <laughs> that was smooth. Is the uh, new... Action comedy from Universal Pictures, R.I.P.D.